Robin Jville, I see that comment. I see Paul Maloney, Fortnite for life. Hello, everyone. Mountains and more, CJ Wright, Willard Buchanan. Willard, my grandfather's name. Willard. Harry Grimley, see you in every live chat. I appreciate you being here. Just giving some thanks. As you see, I got a new setup. Had to ditch. Had to ditch doing it on the MacBook. I decided to switch over to a PC. Believe it or not, this is a cheap PC. It's like a $489 thing. Works better than my $2,200 MacBook. So, got the mask shirt? No. I do not wear the mask shirt. And you'll find out why in just a second. There's a reason that I didn't wear the mask shirt. And oh, I see New York Luis. Am I saying your name proper, Luis? You're on here every time, and I appreciate that. So I want to make sure you say, wow, starting screen. Yeah, that's part. I'm using some software now, trying to make it fancier. Kev's got it going on now. Love this setup. Well, that's great. Is the picture quality okay? I know it's not quite the iPhone. I was using the iPhone. I know it's not quite that quality. So if you could comment bigger than the Beatles, that would be nice. That would be nice, but I wouldn't get hooked on drugs like them because I don't do drugs. Don't even drink caffeine. I'm a teetotaler. All right, so let me get into some categories, have a few things written down. As usual, I have my five. I do five topics. I'm going to have a five thing. Look at five bikes in five days. I've got five topics. So I want to jump into them, but first, do you like these live streams? I'm enjoying them. I'm having fun with them. I'm still trying to find that day, but I'm thinking Monday is probably the best day would have done it this monday but some stuff we've had weather my house is flooding from both ends it is flooding from the top and from the basement it's it's horrible leaks on the roof flooding basement so what i want to get into first is talk about tools bike tools i'm not going to lift it but right over here is my bike toolbox you guys have seen the videos where i made the bike toolbox you think it's fine good i appreciate that Robin Jville, that uh, the quality of stream, look, stream looks good. But uh, I have made a couple of videos on my bike tools. I've added a couple more. And these are important ones that I should have added long ago. I added a derailleur alignment tool, so a derailleur hanger, so I can fix bent derailleur hangers. Because if you buy enough bikes and they're shipped in boxes, you know what? The carriers sometimes do to them. Sometimes they're not packaged all that well. I'll be able now to bend my own hangers properly and break them on my own maybe if I want to. You never know what's going to happen. But I can fix my own stuff without having to pay and the local bike shop. They do a good job, but it's 15, 20 bucks at a, at a time. And I can pay for this in two or three uses. So I think this was, I want to say it was 50 bucks when I bought it. I'll put it up in my shop on Amazon. So go to my website and you hit shop. And by the way, new links under that as well. I've kind of tweaked the website a little bit, new navigation. But this is a good tool that I'm happy that I bought. By the way, how's the audio quality? Because I'm going through my Brio, Logitech Brio cam. Spent big bucks for a, or big bucks, a couple hundred bucks, for a, four, a, a 4K webcam. Don't even use it in 4K. Use 1080p. Probably should have bought the one that looked cooler and I could tilt. I also bought this. And I just took this out of the package. You can hear. This should fix something that I personally have always had a problem with. I don't know if you have or not. But uh, DIY Solar already showing out. Look at this. Super chip. Hold on. Let me get it on here. I have a new ring literally a ring a super chat bell ring i'll ring every time there's a super chat uh oh can't get off my finger now hope that doesn't finally get it off that would have been bad have to go to the hospital for that yeah, the belt bike bell stuck on my finger that would be a good good conversation thank you paul maloney let me know about the audio sound quality gerald rodriguez you as well paradox thinks it could be a little better Possibly so. I've got other mics. I'll try something in the future. But anyway, this too. Oh, it's. I don't know if you could hear that, but just now it's showing up. So that delay, that delay on the screen. But this is a tool I always struggle. I didn't even set this prop up. It just happened to be here because I have so many things piled around. But if you've ever put a tire on the rim. You know, sometimes you get those tires 
Please don't ring the bell. Oh, is it too loud when I ring the bell? Is it that loud, Jason Carter? So sometimes we hear it, so I guess that does mean. Maybe I'll have to come up with something else. But when I am putting tires on rims, you know, sometimes you get those tires that just pop right off. That come on too easy sometimes, like when I did, well, I don't have it in here. Uh, Project Axum DP, I did the Maxxis well, was Minion DHFs. They were the easiest tires of it. They were almost too loose. Uh, but sometimes you get the ones that you can't get on. No matter how much you squeeze, this tool is supposed to fix that. You stick it on your rim and you pull it on the lip and you can pull the lip of the tire onto the rim. And this was 15 bucks, and I don't know if this is going to focus. Nope, it's a bike hand. A bike hand tool made in Taiwan, so... You know, mainland China stuff, Taiwan stuff, a little different. C.J. Wright. We need more of that bell ring. So you want the bell rung. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Since some people might think that it's too loud, when I ring the bell, which I will do, I will don the bell. Thank you, C.J. Wright. I really appreciate it. Five bucks. I will scoot back so it's not so loud. And if I scoot back too far, you can tell that I'm on a little mechanics bench, but... So, thank you, CJ Wright. I really appreciate that. Super Chat's not required, of course. I appreciate each and every one being here, but Super Chats do help this channel out. You know, I'm on the quest to get an RV. And I kind of got desperate, and I started contacting RV companies. And Thor, who is the largest manufacturer of RVs, kind of gave me the thanks but no thanks. Uh, but they responded. So the, at least there was that, because I heard from one bike manufacturer that tried to contact them about getting their bikes some collaboration wouldn't even respond to them so at least i got that so anyway cj wright thank you again see i could kind of mute oh yeah well that's loud sorry guys trying to turn it down you can actually turn the volume on these bells i don't know if you know that by twist them anyway so bike tools bike hand i'll try to put this on the shop as well and i'm not trying to just sell stuff i'm just showing you stuff i use but actually, don't buy this until I make sure it works. Because if it doesn't, and you know, it's plastic, but it's kind of that gun part plastic, that uh, ABS stuff that's really can handle some heavy stress. So we'll see. Hopefully that works out. That's my new parts that I just received, and I'm sure I have countless others laying around that I just couldn't find because I order stuff and get stuff in all the time all the time parts wise so let me go to chat let me look and see what we have here because i can actually see it on the screen without having to look off so i'll back up i see cj writes super chat there that's a good place to start who makes that fat tire bike peg junk hmm. what about that name but this fat tire bike that is a hemiway i will be reviewing this it's part of my five like five bikes five days Part of that series, so I will be reviewing this in that, I can see this hunting a lot on the focus, I hope that's not too annoying, but this is a Hemiway, it's called the Hemiway Escape, they're $16.99, they're where e-bike, how do I describe this, where e-bike kind of lets off and it maybe starts becoming an electrified moped, that's what this is, because it's moped style and the thing weighs it's at 115 pounds on the box of course it was in kilograms i had to convert it but it weighed 115 pounds in the box i got it out of the box i think it's like 89 pounds something like that so it is not a light bike but it's pretty awesome i will say this everyone that i know loves the electric xp i mean it's just hands down awesome bikes the electric xp dad loves the electric xp but he's talked about this thing uh, the one day that I pulled up in front of his house and he had to ride it. I had to make him wear a helmet. It's like a kid or something, having to make him wear the helmet. But he rode it. He talked about it three more times that, that first day. So pretty popular. And everyone that's seen it has loved it. But that is the Hemiway Escape. A very fun bike. We'll be seeing it soon. So ring that bell. It was lit. Well, thank you, Dylan. I'm just going to scroll through here. I apologize. And again, I, if I don't, 
mention your comment here as we're going. I go back through these and I read everyone's comment every single time. I try to do that on videos as well. Sometimes I get a little lost when the threads get, get long in the comments. It's just a really big tire lever. Yes, it is. That's talking about that tool. It's a really big tire lever, but the fact that it works with one hand is a big deal because tire levers, you know, you can kind of get in that fight with them, especially on tough tires. Okay, something about reviews, bikes. Eugene K, hello, Eugene K. You would never use that, New York, Luis. Hey, by the way, New York, you guys watch Kelsey Lee? She was a New York City bike messenger. She made a video, she, she really popular, a couple of years ago, about popular, I think she's 40,000 subscribers, something like that, so decent sized channel. And she ended up today saying she's not gonna make videos anymore. Pretty sad. I knew she hadn't made one in a while, but she's in New York, New York City. All right, so I'm gonna scroll back down here. I see Graham Rose. Hey, Spectrum, ahoy, there's my buddy Spectrum. I appreciate you, Spectrum. It's one of my patrons. Very happy that you are here. Let's see, Mike Baker. I don't know the mnemonic. Is that a mnemonic for something? Electric XP is the best e-bike out there per dollar. Yeah, I probably will always agree. I don't see anything unthroning it. Although, we're about to get to something that may create just a bit of an issue with that deal. We'll talk about that in just a moment. And Downtown Adventures. I see your videos. This is an ad for electric bikes. You've seen in my videos. Yeah, they do a lot of advertising. I saw their ads on another video that wasn't even bike related. So they do a lot of advertising. I don't think it's they pick my videos. It just randomly they do advertising and it shows up because bike channel, they're a bike advertiser. Someone's in upstate. Oh, you're in upstate New York, so not New York City. NYC. You know, everyone assumes. Someone says New York. I'm sure you get this all the time, New York Luis. Someone says, oh, I'm from New York, and instantly in your mind, you go to New York City. But there is a big difference between New York City and, especially, up, upper state New York. Very different. Hey, David Montreal, one of my early commenters on every single video. Appreciate you, David. Thank you so much. Flammable Carrot, somebody responding, WR Mountain, to, I like Flammable Carrot, I like the name. All right, so, oh, you got off work early just in time to catch the stream. I know you had struggled. Because of work the last time i'm glad glad that you're here man i really am i really am volt break pretty good yeah i actually looked at some of their stuff a while back almost bought one but i didn't you don't know how much stuff i almost bought well monetary constraints keep that from happening so what shirt you got on if it's not mashed that's david montreal that's a good time to get back to this is my next thing here this isn't one of my five we've done one this is the next thing okay you ready well first off Recap, you know, or you may, may not know, I haven't done a lot of advertising on it, but um, turns out I never intended for this to happen. Just like I never intended for this to be a bike channel. It started out as just a channel where it was a catch-all. I had the shotgun approach. I tried a couple of other channels before this. And the bike thing, by the time it started happening, I didn't really realize that it was transitioning into a bike channel. It just happened. By the time it happened, I was looking around kind of confused. Like, wow, I have a bike channel now. Who knew? That's what was going to stick. But I built unwittingly, or we've built, a brand. Yes, it is merch. You're right, David Montreal. Uh, I built unwittingly a brand. So I thought, well, why not get some brand stuff out there? It's not, people starting to know the logo. I have local people uh, that ask me now for stickers. Kind of shocks me. But you know, I have the stickers. I have an eBay store. If you look in, mm, it's backwards on the camera from the iPhone. It's kind of hard. Uh, if you look on the description of my most recent videos, you will see a link down in the description to my eBay shop where I sell stickers. I determined that was the easiest way to do it. Now they're marked up a little bit. Because, like this one, it's like a dollar twenty six or something like that, unless I buy a thousand of them. These big ones get expensive, so I have to mark it up because it all goes to help fund the channel here. But I have stickers, I have these holographic stickers, which are super cool. Small stickers, all of that is in the description videos, and it'll be in the description. And everyone, yes, yeah, smash that thumbs up. Thank you, Harry Grimley. 
thank you for that. I really appreciate everyone that does that. I have stickers, but I have something super cool. I also, in the description of my last two new videos, I'm going to go back categorically and add this. But I have another, I don't know if you know, there's a tray underneath most videos. And it's called the merchandise tray or merch tray in YouTube. And you can do t-shirts and stuff. Well, I never did. I put a couple of logos up there. Turns out I had $18 in profits. I didn't even know I had because I never checked on it. I just put a couple of little designs up there. Well, I started using it because I was selfish. I wanted a shirt. I wanted a new shirt. So what I did... Oh, let's go ahead and show here. I created a new Kev Central logo based off... Is it, which way am I going to lean here to get it straight? Kev Central logo based on the classic logo, but I added a full suspension mountain bike to that. And not only that, see if I can get this off here. And on the back, there is a Kev Central logo as well. So dual Kev Central logos, although I may take the one off the back. I don't know. And just FYI, if anyone buys these, this is the premium shirt. It's a little snug. It said slim fitting, but it turns out it's it's pretty snug. I mean, I don't have big guns or anything, but it's really tight on the arm. So just note that. Fortnite for life. Another super check. Thank you so much. So get that bell. Should I back up? Back up. Oh, almost muted it too much. Thank you, Fortnite for life. You get the ring bell, literally ring bell when it's on my finger there. Thank you so much, man. That that means a lot. Again, helps the channel. But so does all this merch. I get small profits off of all this merch. So I have this shirt, and I really like this design. A DIY Solar Energy has been hounding me about this design. He really likes it. Well, I went one step further. Doing the stickers. So how about a holographic sticker with the same design? And it turns out it looks really good. I thought this was going to look pretty cheesy. And I know this doesn't focus all that well. But I thought this was going to be pretty cheesy because it's a lot of detail in this. I mean, you can even see the brake cables. Hydraulics, I'm sure. See the brake cables in this. So I've added this to the eBay store. So it's in the link. I just added it right before we started, right before I started setting up all this. So brand new sticker. I only have 48 of them left. I stole two. So, new sticker. Special holographic mountain bike full suspension. And I see something from Ike. Thank you, Ike. What did you, did you say anything here? Or is that a sticker? I can't tell. This new, new setup here. But thank you so much, Ike. Ring that, ring that ring bell. Wish I could do the ring my bell song, but A, I can't sing. B, that would be copyright infringement, so don't want to do that. Thank you. Who is that? Is that Ike? Let's see. Scroll back up here. Yeah, Ike. That is an L, right? It's not like. It's Ike. Like, I like Ike. Big political campaign from back in, at uh, some point, back in American history in the early parts of the 19th century. Well, technically, early mid. So, let's see who we have here. Harold Patterson. Is the video off? Well, it shouldn't be. Other people can see it. So, I hope you can see it. And you need that sticker Simrig PC27B. Again, get on eBay. Go to the link in the store. And uh, the merch shop, even, you don't even have to go into the description for the merch shop. You can just type Teespring, which is what you, YouTube uses for all their merch. You can type uh, Teespring Kev Central into Google and it'll pull it up. It'll be one of the first couple of links. I think first link is Teespring an ad and then that. So just want to go through here really quick and look at some of these comments again because I appreciate you guys getting active in the comments. And it looks like DIY Solar Energy, whom by the way has a video that he just made last night or night before last, he took the Onway the little Onway e-bike, the first one, and took apart the battery, talked about the cells that are in it, redid some of the wiring that he didn't like, and talked about the fuses. It's pretty neat. It's 35 minutes, and we're going to do a combo. A combo live thing. 
keep both logos up, front and back. Jose Aguilar Jr., keep both logos. Okay, all right, I appreciate that. Uh, we'll consider that. Maybe I'll make two versions, one without some on the back and one with the front. I just thought coming and going looked pretty good, so <laughs> we need a Kev Central bike brand. I'm actually working on that. Uh, I'm not going to get into marketing bikes at all. And I see Pedro Fernandez. I see you comment a lot. Man, that's $5 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Pedro Fernandez. I'll get right back to you on that bike thing. But first, got, I'm trying to mute this so it doesn't blow you guys, especially if you have a headset on. Headset cap would be great. That would be pretty funny. You know, I actually designed something, but DIY Solar Energy shot it down. And by the way, again, get my tell me did that build. You should check that video out after this live stream. And subscribe to his channel because we're going to start doing some collaboration on bike stuff. Because whenever bike batteries die, guess who gets to rebuild them? My buddy DIY Solar Energy. And he doesn't know it, but he's benevolent. He does all that for free. He doesn't know. So that's a Tabitha Edwards, a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Tabitha. You get the bell rung as well. The bike bell ring. Ring the bell. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all these super chats. Just so good. So good. And I got tied up in super chats and I lost my place. And just remember it though. Still got it. Still got the mind somewhat. So we're talking about a Kev Central bike brand. I'm not working on a bike brand because I have no interest in getting into all, all that. But I am working on something that I started a year and a half, two years ago and never got all that into. But, and I've kind of settled on a name for it, and I'm not going to reveal that yet. But I'm working on a certification program so that a manufacturer would be able to, if it qualified, it would have to be a bike that I approved. And if it, if it met all my criteria, affordability, decent value for the money, because, I mean, let's be realistic. You're not going to get, you know, rock shocks. Rin, I heard someone just bought a sticker, so thank you so much to whoever that was that just bought a sticker off eBay. But I'm going to come up with a certification program so that manufacturers can label their bike with a certain thing that lets you know that it's Kev Central approved. So we'll see. So no bike brand, but there is that. And thank you again, Tabitha Edwards. That means a lot. And I know a Tabitha, and I can't remember the Tabitha that I know his last name. So I'll have to look on Facebook when I get done and see if that is the Tabitha here. If so, hello. Thank you for being here. Very nice of you. Let me see if I can scroll down here. Okay, there we go. Looked like my chat died there for a second, but it's back up. Do you have any info on the Schwinn Ascension, the internal cable routing? This is Paul Maloney. The internal cable routing on the frame is interesting. I haven't seen anything around the geometry. I am convinced, but look, I've been trying to get one. They're not in my area, in my local stores. They won't ship them. DIY Solar Energy is talking about, he's going to come up here. And they have them where he's at. So maybe in a few weeks, I can get one via him. And he brings it up. But the Ascension is basically a boundary from what I take. It's a boundary with internal cable routing and that little dropper, dropper post thing. Stuart Mills. Thank you so much, Stuart, for the super chat. You love the channel. Well, thank you very much. I love that you love the channel. I don't know if you tuned in, but that means... And I, I'm trying to... I hope this isn't bothering people too much. Oh, no, to kill the bell? No. Okay, so you got the bike bell ring for doing... Literally, again, a ring for doing a super chat. Thank you so much, man. $9.99. That's very generous. Everyone, very generous. I don't care if it's a nickel. Thank you so much to everyone. But that is where I stand on whatever it was I was talking about. Did you unmute me? Hold on. He unmuted me. I, uh, I have DIY Solar Energy on the phone. And he has muted me that way if there's anything urgent that comes up. He can let me know. Just want to get back to, hey, uh, DIY Solar Energy. Where was I at when I forgot? So maybe I'm not that sharp after all. So I did, I did get sidetracked. Just wanted to respond again to Stuart Mills. I mean, thank you so much. Nickel and diamond that way to an RV. Nickel and diamond that way. 
All right. So, oh, the Schwinn Ascension. That's what I was talking about. Josh Lobby, thank you. I'll get to you in just a second. Ring that bell for you as well, my friend. But the Schwinn Ascension is basically, to me, a boundary until proven otherwise with just the internal cable routing. Everything else looked the same, so I assume the geometry is the same. Different paint job, slowly thing. So it makes me wonder what else might be tweaking. Because I can't imagine that Target would get something and our friends at Walmart wouldn't. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. They each can dictate their own suppliers what they make. All right, so Josh Lobby. Is it Lobby or Lobby? He bought a sticker. I was going to be nice because he's also a patron. And I realized he messaged me, bought a sticker, and I gave him a bunch of extra stickers and left out the one he bought. So I'm going to send you the one that you bought, Josh. So thank you so much. And oh, you get the bell ring. Get the bell ring. <laughs> Trying to mute this. But thank you. And also, so right now, three up there. Got Stuart Mills with that 999. That, that hangs around, Stuart. Yeah. And Josh. And then David, is it Cote or Cote? Cote. I don't know. Which one? What's that icon? What is that? Looks semi-familiar for some waiting patiently for my KBO hurricane I haven't missed a video hmm thank you I really like and no one should miss a video right should be the playlist <laughs> oh no I'm kidding thank you everyone that watches all the videos and regularly I mean there's channels that I go to that uh, Kelsey Lee I used to go and watch her videos in a line just because I enjoyed the content but I appreciate you guys KBO actually sent me an email this morning, and I haven't responded to it yet, and they mentioned the hurricane. So maybe I should respond and get a hurricane to review. What do you think? You guys think I should respond to that? Get that hurricane to review? I was a little hesitant at one point because, well, the, wait, it's backwards. This is so difficult when it's backwards, but that, that one, this thing. This bike right here, this burgundy thing, that I was scared back to back. It would look kind of weird with two internal batteries on a bike. The KBO Hurricane, not quite as internal. For future, <laughs> Ed Casada. Is it Casada? Casada. Thank you for the super chat. And yes, for, for future. Yeah, I do need a haircut. Like, really, I mean, it's stringy. It's not. I've got a lot of hair, but it's like fine hair. It's not. It's not attractive at all. I mean, I look. I look homeless. But I am not going until I get vaccinated. Give me the jab in the arm. Give me a couple of weeks to get through it, and then I will go do something. So thank you, thank you, Ed. I will remember you when I'm getting my haircut. It's gotten so bad. I was looking up Floby. Like, when I was a kid, there were these Floby commercials on TV, and you could vacuum head. And I heard another sticker on eBay that just went, so thank you to whoever bought that. Thank you so much. But I've been researching the Floby. Get this off before it sticks on my hand. Researching the Floby so that maybe I could cut my own hair, but that could only go back. I'm telling you, I can't even shave right. It's, uh, it's shave right. There's my Alabama coming out. That's a topic for another video. The Alabama... <laughs> There's some unique things about this place. Yes, yeah, she just entered her. Yeah, Peter Baskin. That's I watched that today. I talked about that just a little bit ago. Sad, because such good content. But, you know, she's an aspiring actress. So maybe we'll see her in something other than bike stuff. And her channel was kind of like mine. She kind of accidentally got into the bike thing. All right, so let's go. Awesome channel. Thank you for the insights. Paul Maloney, thank you. Timbo Rice. Polygon seems like a good brand. They are a good brand. They make quality bikes. That Siskiyou D7 I reviewed hated sending that back. It was a review bike. It went back and I did not want to part with it, but I had to. So good brand. Keep it up. All right. So George Robo, George Clooney used it. No way. George Clooney does not use a Floby, does he? That would be funny if he did. Someone else just bought a sticker. I hope that you're coming back to this live chat. After you buy the sticker. Don't want you to drop out of here. And yes, DIY Solar Energy. By the way, everyone, give him a big thanks. And again, after this is over with that over this channel, check out that Onway battery rebuild. Pretty interesting stuff. Pretty interesting. 
and it's gonna do the Rattan battery next. We're gonna get to see that kind of little combo thing with both of us. So both of us. There's my Southern coming out again, but give him a thumbs up or at least a, a little clap emoji for helping out so much with these live chats. Such a good moderator. Let's go down through really quick and then I'll get back to my list here. How do we find the eBay link? Peoria Videos Limited, go to my latest videos. My, like the one I just released today, which I hope you've watched on this v, V2 Roadster. And you can look down in the description, there'll be a link to both that and a place to find this shirt that I just designed. I have another design that's coming. What's the date today? Is this the 18th? Yeah, it should have, it's green. It's e-bike related. I have that. I have a bear necessity shirt. Hit me at 2 or 3 a.m. I had this bear riding a bike and all of a sudden, oh, the bear necessity spelled bear. Did that. I think that's going to be popular. A lot of people seem to like that. How's the rock rider by decathlon? Haven't had one, but I have seen a lot of people that like that. And I'm not going to slaughter your name by trying to pronounce it. It looks really awesome. I'm sure it sounds really cool. KBO has, scroll, scroll too fast, but I think someone said KBO has three bikes. Okay, I'm going to scroll down just a little further here. Oh, look at, look at this. Look at this. DIY Solar Energy, so on it. He just put the eBay link. On my screen, it's over here. He just put the eBay link right there in the chat for everyone to use. So very convenient. Thank you so much, DIY Solar Energy. Can't keep it in stock. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Willard Buchanan. Can't keep in stock. We're probably talking about the Decathlon, maybe, that we just mentioned, or one of the other bikes, probably Polygon, something like that. The Polygon Review, Rockin' Freak 69, that's going to be within the next four days-ish. I hope I don't miss a day. I'm having to do a lot of last-minute editing here. And amongst vacuuming out the water from my basement and getting the water pails out of my attic. So hopefully I can finish this in five days, but very, very soon. I've already got it filmed. I've been out on it. Pretty cool little bike. It's a pretty cool, it's one of their budget ones. It's not a full suspension. I'm sorry to break that. I, well, some of them are going to send a full suspension too, but they sent a hardtail actually getting donated to a local rider that needs a bike. He crashed his bike. He actually got the Redline Xander from me and crashed it, warped the crank arms, like did all kinds of damage. So, and he hadn't been able to get all the stuff to get it fixed yet. And I tried to get him to bring it over here. I was going to fix it for him for free, but I think he didn't want to do that. I don't know if he felt like he would owe or something like that, but he wouldn't have. But that bike, I asked Polygon or Bikes Online. I asked Bikes Online, they said donate it to him as soon as you're done with it. So it's going to him, and then we're going to do a follow-up with him. I'm going to strap a camera on him, do a follow-up with him. So there's DIY Solar Energy with all those things. Antonio Rodriguez. Hey, Grayleaf. Hey, another patron. Thank you, Grayleaf, for being here. I appreciate it. And he's thanking DIY Solar for the links. And Antonio Rodriguez loves the Axum DP project. Pretty awesome. Kind of sad that it won't make it to a stage two. But the Axum DP 2021 will make it to what I had planned. For that for stage two so look for that that'll be coming up soon gotta get past all these five bikes in five days someone said i was getting in over my head with that i agree pretty much pretty much did so do you plan to do patreon rides around the united states after you get the rv and the vaccine yes that is in my mind now i'm kind of a lone wolf even thought about designing a shirt for that I'm kind of a lone wolf when I ride, but i i would love to get out and meet some some subscribers and ride with them and have some fun especially if they're on their big box bikes or their modified big box bikes keep it friendly something that everyone could join in on don't have much interest of going to whistler and three people that could make it down that and it would have to be at least three because i would probably get about halfway down and someone would have to drag me to the ambulance so try to make it friendly that's the importance of getting an rv though that i can do that all right and Glance, okay, I think I'm caught up here pretty much. Tim Johns, hello, appreciate you being here. Put some drywall in the corner, your new logo in the backdrop. DIY Solar Energy has access to the things that I need for the wall, but I have already purchased the drywall, it just started raining. Second, we got it, so I can't get it from where it is to in here. 
but I'm going to do drywall at least on part. I'm going to do pallet wood on the back wall. Not sure which one. The back wall. Again, I'm backwards. So, and that focus hunting, is that bothering you guys too much? Is it okay with this camera or should I go back to the iPhone? I think this is better because I have more control. Like, I mean, you know, I can do all this cool stuff, right? So I have all the neat control here, so I'm hoping that this is ha you guys are happy enough with this. That it works. I haven't seen complaints other than maybe one audio complaint, so there's that. Peter Baskin asked in Grayleaf, wow, man, 20 bucks. Holy crow, that's, uh, that's appreciated. My support this amazing channel. Keep it coming. I will definitely keep it coming. Good Lord willing, every day. Pray for another day so we'll hopefully keep going with that but i will thank you so much but someone had commented and i wanted to look at this moto bacane i think it's how you say their bikes that's bikes not bikes online it's the other one and i've looked at those and i figured at some point they would contact me and go hey you're kind of right along our element here with budget bikes that are good so why don't we send you some to review but i hadn't heard from them kind of surprises me but i would love to look at those i've seen a few around town and one that was on the rack at the local bike shop had a warped frame but he probably the owner might have done that but i think they were going to replace the frame so it's like they stand behind their stuff let's see josh lobby that's again a patron someone that also super chatted just a little earlier oh my goodness wait a minute oh forgot grayley you get the ring of the ring bike bell bike bell ring bike bell ring yeah literally both ways thank you again so much gray leaf so awesome and i really appreciate everything you're doing for the channel every one of you so thankful for each and every one of you colorado we have some fun trails yes you do I've been to colorado I'm not on the mountain bike trails but i eyeballed them while i was there so hopefully I can get there and ride. And I would love to take the 2021 Axum DP in project form out to somewhere like Colorado and ride some trails. And we have something in the works through the shop. Yes, talking about the wall. Going to do lots of, lots of ideas. And this is the one, Peter Baskin, the one that I wanted to look at. Does my Viathon count as a big box bike? No. Yes and no. It's technically a big box. Uh-oh. Wait, Peter Baskin got a message in Spectrum? No, I think that might be an accident. Maybe or maybe they were sending links. My, my channel will automatically block links. It has to work that way because if I don't on every video, I would have about a thousand links for dating apps. It's all kinds of weird stuff. Some horrible stuff that I won't mention. But yes, I guess, you know, Viathan, I would count that. It comes from Walmart, but no, it's not really a big bucks bike. Totally different category, but very awesome. Had to send that one back too. Hated sending that back. You know, I don't get to keep all these review bikes. People think I get every bike that comes to this channel, and I do get to keep some. But usually, in the case of, I'm looking at the Unirow Z1, I the only reason I get to keep that is because the instruction manual that I'm doing. And by the way, Unirow sent me a thing. They're doing a indie or an indiegogo for some new dual motor full suspension monster beast bike and they sent me all these videos they didn't want to send the bike they just sent the video because it's indiegogo and they wanted me to show you guys the videos i was kind of hesitant on that because i thought that would look like i've sold out and i haven't i don't get paid for any of that but i may mention it in a video or in some way and show it somehow because it looked pretty neat and the indiegogo price you know indiegogo and bikes eh, kind of weird territory there but it looked neat so we'll see and i trust unero they're a good brand uh, the bikes that i have reviewed of theirs have been pretty awesome that first one that fat tire hardtail e-bike i that was another one i kind of wish i could have kept all right, Ralph Reyes, is it Reyes? Hey Kev, incredible channel, nothing like it. Should have way more views, well, thank you, that would be nice. Some things, thumbnail, yeah, yeah, couldn't more pop, yes they could. 
Swin aluminum com budget bike challenge possibly yeah, that's, that's some ideas I appreciate that I I entertain all ideas I see gray leaf super chat still hanging around up there Andrew Cannon hey Andrew Cannon is this the Andrew Cannon that got what bike was that was it the Tokul my Raleigh Tokul one are you the one that I got the that bought the Raleigh Tokul one for me I believe so I believe so all right let me get back to my list here I don't want to how long wait 42 minutes and I'm at number two on my list this is gonna stretch out so well, we'll just keep going I have water and pardon me I'm gonna mute the mic for a second drink a little water oh wait I can use this screen hold on hey hey how about that a little mute here while I take a drink Okay, see if I can get back to my live screen. Now, I like that transition effect. It's automatically in the software. I'd like to say that I programmed that. I didn't. Couldn't. Filming equipment. Let me talk about filming equipment. I get a lot of questions about what do I use. OD Green Outdoors. Do you still ride the Mongoose cargo bike? Do you still think it is a good bike? It is actually above me in the loft right now, shoved at the back until I get everything done in here, and then I was going to get it back down. Very good bike. Very tough bike. I know for a fact that there are people that make a living with their Envoy cargo bike. They're that good. They hold up. That is someone in a far larger city than I live in that uses it to make deliveries in town. They do food. I'm not going to say the name of the shop, but it may be a sub shop. So, uh, let me get back to this filming equipment really quickly. Have to reach over here. And who was it that sent me the $2 for the haircut? I'm going to be wearing beanies until I can get this haircut. Or hair fixed, anyway. Alright, let me get these cameras out here. I'm going to show you guys what I use. Here's some contents of my riding backpack. A pen. Why well, I have a pen, I have no idea. Autographs on the truck. Uh, a tire lever, another one down in here. But where are my? This is a new. I regularly have to buy new equipment. This is a dual GoPro mount, so I can mount GoPros side to side, so I can do different angles at the same time. And this is probably my third or fourth one of these. I lose them left and right. I just got that in not long ago. Let me get all these cameras out here, and I have GoPros that I can't even find. That, oh, and hand sanitizer. Always take that now when I'm out at the mountain bike trail. For some reason, people, the times I ride, it's a lot of walkers that are out there, a lot of them with their dogs, unleashed. And they want to come up and talk to me for some reason. And they try to shake my hand. I don't shake hands. I'm not a handshaker. And that's DIY Solar Energy. Even before the awareness for that, I thought, you know, that's a really stupid thing. Who came up with that? Have you seen what people do with your hands? Ugh, gross. I use one of these. I don't use this much anymore. I used to use it to wrap it around like the top tube and try to get shots. I've got an iPhone, a wobbly, broken. Ooh, so I've broken that. I have to get another one of these now. This is for a phone, but little mount. But also I have GoPro mounts for this. I'm getting there's a point behind this this is a suction mount electric xp this is the perfect mount to film with electric xp sucks right onto the side and i can make different adjustments to get those low wheel shots on the electric xp using this nice tip it'll work on the electric xp because it's glossy it will not work on a bike like the rattan which is matte falls right off almost lost this one on the rattan so i use that i use chest rigs from gopro this is the old one the old mount that clips it comes over and clips and it wasn't as stable the way it sits just wasn't as stable but i still use it i use the new one which helps out a lot it's way more padded for some reason not as hot i guess padding instead of plastic up against your chest 
This is the new one that slips over. And this is my main GoPro, which is a GoPro Hero 7. I never upgraded to the 8. I have had 4, 5, and 6. I still have one 6. But, you know, GoPros usually after about a year, year and a half, they start dying and start having problems. This one is on its last legs. So I can't believe it's held out this long. The 7, for some reason, has really held in here. I, I, I still have the original battery for this, too, and it'll still go for about 30 minutes. But this is a gimbal, a stabilizing gimbal that really... Let me turn it on. I have the GoPro in here. This is the stabilizing gimbal, so I can move around, and it keeps things nice and stable, but I have fallen. This is my, I think, second one of these, and I have fallen on this one so many times now that I'm having a problem. See, yeah, see, it won't accept. Sometimes it'll accept, and then I start moving, and it'll start juddering. So you have no idea how frustrating it is to get what you think is an amazing shot. And it's always that stuff that, oh, I can't believe I just did that. And then I look down and my camera's like all hanging. The other day I was out, a matter of fact, on that polygon. When I was out on the polygon with this thing. I felt a little vibration on my chest. So I figured I'm either about to die from a coronary event or a cardiac event or something's going on with this gimbal. And it was literally spinning in a circle. I have no idea what was, what was causing that, but it, it's done. So I'm going to need a new gimbal. So my question is, should I get a new gimbal and keep using my trusty GoPro 7, this old 6, and also this little, you know, I did this, that Van Top camera. I did this on my Kev Reviews channel, which I have a Kev Reviews sticker. Even I love this logo, but, you know, just haven't pushed it. I haven't even put it on the channel. I did put it on my generator. I think it's a cool logo. Kind of a little bit of Kev Central, but that but i reviewed this camera on that channel i actually use this i've snuck in and still do i have snuck in shots countless times with this and no one's ever really noticed so it's good enough for that it's not good with audio so the audio is never from this camera i can use base gopro audio sometimes riding on a trail but not this oh and i also still have this a Hero Session 5 or Hero 5 Session. can't believe they got rid of these because they were so convenient. You could put them on, I mean, underneath the bill, the visor on a helmet, and they worked so good. But they didn't do stabilization all that great. And you can't see what you're doing because if anyone's used GoPros long enough, you know the GoPro app is horrible. still is to this very day. You'll half the time try to get a live feed, and it'll tell you can't can't view or give you some some issues so should I keep this and get another gimbal or should I buy one of the new Hero 9's which are supposed to be as smooth as this entire setup the downside and I've learned this from doing let me turn this off before I ruin it the downside <clears throat> is if I have this instead of this the camera is up against here so I can't start and get that preview because I can look down with this it sits off my chest enough that I can actually look down and see what the camera see so I know what the final outputs gonna look like when I have this chest rig so you see uh, DIY solar they're talking something about getting a container moving all that so he's talking about his battery stuff awesome yeah you guys keep talking with him about that because telling the impressive stuff but I can't see so that's what's holding me back from getting the nine because as I mentioned their app I've never had good luck with it and sometimes I can get the preview to work sometimes I can't so many 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 times I have filmed things or put a camera on other people and film things and it's all knees I thought I had a good angle, but it turns out. And I'm telling you, it's frustrating when you have a YouTube channel. You're thinking, I've got this great footage. This is going to make an epic video. People are going to be so happy with it, and I'm happy with it. And then I get it home, and my footage is nothing. So that's what I use. So for anyone that wonders what I use, and I've been through a couple of lenses on this. So I need a new one. 
that's my Hero 6. This is, I have chips all in this lens from when the, uh, what is that thing? The Evolution, the bike that I couldn't stand and destroyed, let the bike shop cut up for salvage scrap metal. The slag coming off the, coming off that bike, the something Evolution. I can't believe I've forgotten the name of that thing. But that bike, I still have its heart. The Aorta of Evolution, I still have that, the core of it. But anyway, I've used, uh, even on this, I've put a lens or two on this. So that's what I use camera-wise. So there you go, the people that have asked about that. You don't get a video about it, but you do get that. Oh, and I also use selfie sticks. Get some good shots with those. Can't use this on the trail, though. <laughs> The last time I did, I almost stuck the camera into my spokes, my front spokes. So I swore off the selfie stick when I'm out on the trip. So there is that. Let me get back really quick to chat here and just give a couple of looks. Any name not tardy? Boeing, Boeing 747 Shiny. You know, Boeing is right 60 miles from me. One of the big Boeing plants. Hope they didn't do the 777 Max. But that one of the big Boeing plants. Pacific Cycle. Thank you, Harkin. The Pacific Evolution. Not the Pacific Cycle, but the Pacific Evolution. The bike that I loved to hate. And God, I think of fitting demise. Do you realize how much flack I got from that video? So many people... You know, I'm not going to get political or anything, but there is truth that there are kind of the social justice warrior vibes. And so many people jumped on me. You could have donated that bike. And I went to great length to explain that that bike was trashed. It, there were so many things broken on that bike. I think there was even a crack down low on one of the welds on one of the chain stays. Still, some kid could have used that. So, oh, so I'm going to give a bike to a kid that's going to get him hurt? And that's benefiting who? So, anyway. Still happy I cut it up. Don't care what anyone says. But thank you. Oh, you're an aviation expert. So you definitely are Boeing 747. Hey! Mr. D Magic 88. Thank you so much, Mr. D Magic. Hey, Kev, how's it going? Not it's going very well. You like, eh, eh. you like the new shirt? Now I've got matching. Look at that. Matching holographic sticker to go with it. Thank you for just catching you up. Just in case you didn't know. Thank you so much for the super chat. And if you just got here, ring in the bell. Got a bike bell as a ring. Thank you so much for the super chat. I think that works, right? The bike bell's a ring. I haven't seen any other complaints about the sound from it. So I guess it's working. So you are a geek, an aviation expert geek. Well, you have to be. When I started college, I wanted to be in aeronautical engineering, which was the worst absolute thing I could have chosen. I am many things. Someone that is into math, I am not. I do not like, I'm fine with math, like basic arithmetic, but you start getting letters and stuff and symbols in there and I start freaking out. It just, it makes me weird. It makes me really weird. I'm surprised I can even use a computer with the at symbols and things. <laughs> I mean, you put symbols in with numbers, it flips me out. So, congrats to you for being able to do that. I cannot move on this stool. Cutting off circulation here. Seems to be like, I don't know, Kenneth Pan. Oh, I get what you're saying. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? Carson Brooks. I'm saying, let's see here. Every time I look at check, text, I guess that'll be the new thing. By the way, two or three people have commented that whenever I do bike reviews, I go starting at the top and work my way down the bars. I didn't know that there was a thing because one person said they did a video and they even caught themselves doing it because they were so used to hearing it from I guess, central videos. So, a lot of little quirks, right? Carson Brooks Outdoors. Oh, you're from Missouri. Awesome. Thank you. Carson Brooks Outdoors. Randy Prince. The Schwinn Ascension. Yeah, I talked about that a little bit earlier. I won't go back into it, but it's basically a glamorized boundary as I see it. I'm trying to get one. If I can get one, do a video review on it. AV Geek. And I see DIY Solar Energy just gave another link there to that is my t-shirt. And then you did the eBay as well for the stickers. 
All right, so I have another super chat. All right, Southern term. Kev, what are your thoughts on the Giant Talon 1 trying to compare it to the Marlin 7? You know, I'm not that up on Giant. Not that I don't like them. I mean, I love Giant's great bikes. Every Giant that I have seen, I've ridden a few, I liked. The problem is I don't have a Giant dealer. And I'm not going to drive. I have this thing where if it's an hour or more away, the benefit of a local bike shop or buying from a bike dealer is you get dealer service and setup, but you have to go and get your service there to keep sometimes those dealer warranties going. And like my local bike shop, you have to take your bike back at a certain point and get it tuned up. I guess if you maybe didn't and it broke, it'd probably be like a car dealership or something where they're like, well, you didn't change the oil. That's why your engine blew up. Because of that, I don't know much about Giant. I don't look into them that much. I know that they make great stuff and that they are a supplier for many bike companies, supposedly. A lot of people a long time ago said Trek, but I don't think that they actually make Trek stuff. Maybe they did at some point. But I don't know. I will look up and see maybe how it compares. But you know, the Marlin 7 is pretty good. I would hope maybe that Talon has a tapered head tube, does it? If it does, that could kind of push it. Maybe a little bit over that edge. Get back here and see. Someone said, I would donate if. Shirt is awesome. I'm going to get one for sure. Yeah, well, that's great. Thank you again for the. Thank you. Oh, losing my bell. Oh, my bell's not healthy. Probably because I twisted on it so much. Thank you again for the super chat. You don't know how much that helps me, helps the channel. Cool swag, Alan Duncan. Someone said something about, I would donate. Well, look, you don't have to. Uh, that's the beauty of this channel. I appreciate each and every person. I appreciate the Super Chats. <laughs> Definitely send all you can. If you have a million dollars, just go ahead and do that one. <laughs> but it's not required by any stretch. I appreciate you guys just being here and viewing. And I say, guys, I noticed my demographic has shifted. It's not a huge shift. It used to be like 98.9% .9 male. And then what's the math on that? 1.1% female. 7.1% female now. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of It's a beanie. Yeah. It's the beanie. I think it's a beanie. Snake Eyes 4311. Here the U.S. government is looking to offer a rebate on the purchase of e-bikes. I would hope so. Because that's my very next thing, or in. The very next thing that I wanted to talk about. Number three of five. An hour into this. This might this might go for an hour and a half, guys. If it does, I actually may have to switch to a different bench because my legs are going numb. I am on a mechanic stool, so I'm crouched down. So I may have to change the camera angle. But we'll talk about that in just a second. So you get to that. And I see a five dollar one there. Did I get that's snake eyes? There's someone else. Crankshaft 1012. That's the Talon. What's this one? Do you have any fixed gear bikes? Any recommendations? I'm not a fixed gear fan, so to speak, because we have a lot of hills. There are two hills coming out of my driveway. Nightmare on the knees with a fixed gear around here, at least to me. But there is a priority bike that may satisfy that craving for a fixed gear that will be in this five bikes in five days that I just did the first video on. So maybe even tomorrow you might see that bike and it might shock you. And that's Mr. Mr. D Magic 88 again. Wow, thank you so much. So much. I really appreciate it. You have no idea. Okay, and before I get to the prices, I just want to make sure I'm caught up here as much as I can. Again, I go back and I read your chats. So if I don't see you or respond to you here, it's just because there's so much scrolling by. I don't multitask all that well. Not as good as Boeing 747 as Shiny would because he works with some expensive smart person things. So not as good as he would. Make sure I'm not missing anybody here see one more here who is this uncle bobby five dollars thank you so much uncle bobby another regular here on kev central and i really do i love ringo star I see names very grimly going by that i see on every video and I'm telling you if i were rich if i were mr beast all of you guys would be getting such rewards because i really do appreciate you more more than you know 
Now to come shred here in St. Joseph, Missouri with the new $1.5 million bike park. Ooh, that's a big buck bike park. We got a new mountain bike trail. It's called Joe Wheeler, and I went out there. I may, I may take this Hemiway out there. I went out there thinking I was going to have this great mountain bike trail. They said, oh, you'll love it. And then I started thinking, wow, they, they don't have a high opinion of my riding ability because it is car wide. I'm pretty sure you could take a truck down there and it was smooth and there were elderly people walking all over the place. Yeah, so, but I may take, it might be fun with that Hemiway. So we'll see about that. But thanks again, Uncle Bobby. Let me just catch up really quick here. DK, again, I'll read these chats. Evan Cooling, another super chat. See what I got. Oh, and I didn't do. See, I think I've got four, four, and then Uncle Bobby, and then what was that Evan Cooling got the bike bell ring, literal. Now that I have it on my finger, can I use the fun headset you used with the factory fork on the 2020 aluminum comp, or do I need to wait until I get the tapered fork? I use the fun no the fun headset is a ZS 5640 and that is made for a taper fork so it's gonna I know it looks like it would work and it may because you you probably set that bearing down on there if I had a fork close to me I would set this let me get this is an aluminum comp yeah this is an aluminum comp fork a factory fork and that crown race is actually wide enough that that sealed bearing sits down on it but the problem uh, and that may technically work but the problem is you sit that bearing down on there and you don't get that bearing seal that you do with the crown race that comes with the fun headset so muck muck you don't want muck in your fork so I would say no I mean, technically, you may you could do it, but it wouldn't be advisable because it wouldn't be the proper crown race for a fork. And that's things you don't want to mess with and kind of guesstimate and hope that it works on the front end of your bike. I, I would say no. I hope that answer helps you out. Connie, someone, I dated a Connie once. And I see Spectrum again, taper fork, need taper a headset. Yes, that's true, uh, Spectrum, but the the uh, the headset that's on the Schwinn Axum and Boundary and TAF and and whatever bike, aluminum comp, those have a weird headset adapter and it kind of does fit up in there and it looks like it would work. But again, I do I would not do it myself. So I wouldn't recommend anyone do it. Harry Grimley's, or it looks like maybe Carson Brooks is leaving. Well, good night to you, Carson Brooks. And Spectrum, yeah, I explained it well. I, I don't know what I explained, but I appreciate it. Hoping maybe it was that Ford thing. Maybe it did good there. Okay, let's talk about bike price. So I'm going to try to burn through these. I was going to do a, a question and an answer thing, a take 10 Q&A. But I may move that to the next Live, I said super chat. The next live chat, which I think I'm going to do Monday. Is as I've talked, I'd like to get into that regular schedule so you guys kind of know when it's coming. And maybe, because I didn't do it Monday this week. So if you think that would be a good idea, even though it's kind of close to this, comment and let me know. But I'm going to skip past that. So let me get to bike prices. I have on my iPhone screen here, I started talking with the few bike manufacturers that I regularly converse with and ride one up I because I had heard from two others that prices were going well, actually I've heard from a bunch of places well no, prices are going up on bikes and I had heard from two other places that do e-bikes that the e-bikes were going up a hundred bucks and on some of the higher-end models 200 bucks sometimes even more and and that there was a battery shortage. So I started thinking, hmm, that doesn't sound so good. Let me verify this and see if it is true. So I asked Kevin, the owner, classic name. Gotta love the name. Trustworthy guy named Kevin, right? I mean, how could you not be? So Kevin, the owner, and he gave me permission to mention this. 
I asked him if there was in fact a battery shortage and this is his response. He said, yes, correct. And he said I could use this. Especially the authentic useful cells. So we're talking like the LG, the Samsung. That's how I read this. He said the Samsung 35Es are increasing in price. Each battery pack will cost $25 more if we don't find other solutions. And so there's some you know, obviously, uh, $25 more per cell is how I take that. No, each battery pack. $25 more per each battery pack. If you're selling bikes, you know, profit margins aren't as big as you would think they are, I assume. So I, I don't see any of these companies instantly getting super rich and we're at the highest demand you could ever have possibly had for bikes. So they're looking for things on that. So he mentioned the, that and also components. I have talked about this brakes, tires, forks, etc., and huge delays from Shimano and Tektra. So there you have it from an actual bike that made, made, ah, it's so hard it's backwards, made that bike, that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bike right there that I just reviewed, posted that review. So after this video, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It is amazing. And that is an e-bike, believe it or not. That's an e-bike back there. That battery hid in that down tube. So, on top of that, I got another email, and they just had a price increase because of some of this stuff. They went up $100. Juiced Bikes, which was supposed to send me one of their Scorpions, and then I never heard from them again. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter, but I did want that bike because it was moped style, and that's why this Hemiway that's behind me was so important to me when I saw that. Because it is less money. Not as fast. Not as fast. But it's less money, but it is... Kind of equally awesome in my mind, but they sent an email and said that they're going up $100 to $200 per bike because there are tariffs and other things. So whoever that was, and I apologize, let me see if I can get up here and find who that was that asked. Someone asked about the bike prize. It might have even been a super chat. I apologize if I've missed you here, but someone asked about the possible rebate or something for bikes they are lobbying the the current the new administration to try to do something about this because this is i guess an existing tariff and i don't know if it was going to expire or they thought that it was going to go away and it didn't so they're lobbying to get something done so maybe they're doing maybe they're talking about doing some rebate or something to help with that and i hope so yeah it went up with stephen smith rei bike see everyone's going up i know local bike shop dealer for Trek, told me their prices had gone up. So, you know, pay's not going up. So, uh, hopefully, something balances out because I'm scared. You know, that Schwinn Ascension, a Target is always a little more expensive with their bikes than Walmart. That Schwinn Ascension, isn't that thing like 360 bucks or something like that? A boundary was what, 279? I'm scared that. Maybe the pricing is going to start creeping to all of them, and I so hope that does not happen. Uh, you know, we don't see those $79 bikes anymore that we saw two years ago, a year ago. So anyway, bike prices, they're going up. And shipping as well because of gas prices, which is due to all the stuff in Texas, I'm told. So do we get a double whammy of bike prices being high? I don't know. We'll see. Don't want to get too far into that because it depresses me. And I don't like sticker shop. Scott Evans, is that Dolomite? Yeah, that is. That is a Dolomite ALX hiding right there. <laughs> I pointed to the proper side. That is the Dolomite ALX hiding over my shoulder. And that will be in the five bikes in five days, which I hope doesn't turn into seven days. We'll see how the weather goes. Snake Eyes, another super chat here. Thank you so much, Snake Eyes. Forty-three, eleven dollar super chat. How do you, do you guys like the new super chat animation thing that pops up there? Is that good enough? Does that help you guys out? Maybe I think I need to increase the time that that shows up on the screen. Seeing that, because I see another one here. But let me read Snake Eyes, forty-three, eleven. Rebates are going to be up to thirty percent of the total cost. Also, Tesla is partnering with Specialized to work on a battery. Oh. That would be awesome. Well, I guess it is going to be awesome since you're saying that it happens. But 
thirty percent. I would I could deal with that. Would that be on taxes? Did you do your taxes? Oh, yeah, I bought a bike. So do my thirty percent credit. I know how that would work. We'll see. And another super chat. So two rings of the bike ring bell. Let's get it ready here. You know my finger. OTB old time biker. I like that name. Love the channel, Kev. I'm looking forward to seeing the new Axum DP video. Yes, that's coming very soon, right after the five bikes in five days. I'll hopefully get to that. Although, weather looks like we're going to have rain almost every day starting. The five bikes five days will end Monday. Hopefully, it doesn't stretch into Tuesday and become six or seven days. But then it'll look like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're all going to be rain. So, we'll see. And no, I'm not scared to ride in the rain, but try to film in the rain camera lens instantly it's like water is a magnet to that thing and then you can't see in your footage it's worthless so for both snake eyes was that 4311 yes yeah, snake eyes 4311 man i love this new software it makes it so much easier streamlabs by the way a ring of the bell for you and for old time biker that actually hurt my old time so i'm trying to mute it a little oh am i breaking my bell old time biker thank you guys so much you earned a ring of the bike bell ring thank you very very much bought a t-shirt before i bought the t-shirt before they're all gone are you talking about this one talking about this one wh bonnie bonnie i don't know but I, i'm happy with this design i really am and kind of good shirts but remember if you buy this is a large, I normally wear large. I have a weirdly freak, I've got wide shoulders, but my chest isn't like super muscular. But this is still tight. It's a, uh, if it were any small, it fits me fine, but if it were any smaller, so you may want to size up if you buy one. Just keep that in mind. See another super chat here, but let me, before I get to that, 20, the freezing Texas was awful. I live here. I watched RV videos shift to a different leg here. Butt started to go numb. Uh, I watched a bun bunch of RV videos, and man, it, was, it did not look fun, and all that water. Have you seen the price of plywood because of the Texas issues? All the plywood, it's like $51 a sheet here, which is why my walls did not get plywood. They're getting sheetrock. Scott Evans, thank you, Scott, for the $5 Super Chat. I don't see a message in there. I appreciate it. You're just giving a $5 Super Chat, and that gets you a ring of the bike bell ring. Thank you so much. And I want to keep this on my hand, but I'm scared it'll freeze on my hand. Well, I guess it has a screw mount. I can just loosen it. So nothing to worry about. If you did mean to type a message or something, put it in. See if DIY Solar can let me know. All right. Get here. I thought things had frozen, but then I realized I had to click off of the screen. Still getting used to this stuff. Still getting used to this stuff. David Montreal. Is that a sticker or just you drooling? What are you drooling at? Drilling at the Dolomite? Is that what you're drilling at there? Or the shirt? The shirt. Okay. Thoughts on the Momentum Arid Rocker? I'm not familiar with that bike. So I would just be making up something. But I could make up something and sound incredibly convincing. But I will not. Because I don't want to lie. Imagine the Trek Marlin 9. I don't know if Boeing 747 is that in response to that Momentum. Possibly so. Let me glance down here, and I talked about bike prices. I've also got to mention here, Uncle Bobby, another super chat. Wow, Uncle Bobby. Man, you are really killing it. So I do appreciate I really, really do. So I will ring, give you a ring here for the bike bell from the bike bell ring. Thoughts on changing from twist shifter to levers. For an older specialized mountain bike, I've done that on multiple bikes. Big box bikes, unfortunately, used to almost all have twist shifters, and I converted them to trigger. But by the lever, I mean, you're thinking trigger shifter, right? I changed all of mine, I think, just about two trigger shifters. Just make sure it matches up with these speeds, and you should be pretty good to go. Now, that's an older, though. It doesn't have one of those weird shifters like the... Canada Lefty I have does, where they go up and down and break on the same lever. That could create a problem, but if it's a standard twist shifter, you can probably find a trigger shifter that's going to work with it, especially if it's a common thing, like a tourney or, or you know, something like that. 
wanted Randy Pry Prince wanted the Axum but can't find one anywhere. Yes, almost impossible to find. I don't know. Someone asked me if I knew where they were going to be. I don't have any great contact that I can call up. Hey, which Walmart has how many bikes? I don't have that. That'd be nice. But I don't have that. So I don't know what's out there in the supply chain. All I can say is I know the 2021 Axum DP is coming in May, I believe. is when they said it was going to be hitting stores. So that's going to be awesome. And I hope there's a lot of them. But as far as are there going to be any leftover Axums or Axum DPs floating around there from 2020, I don't know. I would say no, but the Hyper Hydra form, remember, long after that, we knew that that was no longer being made. They would go away and then for a few days they would creep back up. And we would mention it and they would go away again. So who knows? Who knows? If that, and DIY Solar Energy, I didn't miss the Super Chat. Did I, what's this $2 here? Red Bjorn? $2? I appreciate that. <laughs> Two rings of the bike bell for you. I'm not going to do a ring per dollar because that would get, that would get tiring doing. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I thought I saw something go away, so I'm glad I saw that. I see someone mentioning the electric XP here. Riding my electric XP in the Minnesota snow, would that be a problem? You know, when the snow hit, I got out, it's the right shoulder? Yeah. I got out, not the Dolomite, but the Mongoose Malice. And it worked great in the snow. I tried my electric. It wasn't for me. You know, the hub motors, you get them going and there's that little half second delay before they turn off. Of course, this bike is a lot better with that really quick like milliseconds but still even milliseconds if you're on snow and you get in a slippery area and you want to stop right then with momentum and it carries on for even a millisecond that's not good so i would say no but i don't know maybe you could get studded tires or something like that zoom zoom 870 five dollar super chat any chance you're going to look at the walmart chinese mountain bike with fenders i don't know which mountain bike you are referring I will maybe try to look this up. Do you have a brand you can supply me in a model or something? Maybe I will consider looking at it, but in the meantime, you get... Oh, that's loud. You get a ring from the Bike Bell Ring for doing a super chat. Thank you so much. And I'd like to say I thought the Bike Bell up, but someone suggested it. I'm not going to stuff off of my stool. Someone suggested it not long ago. And as DIY Solar Energy just mentioned, keep the questions up. And even if I don't respond in this, I don't know, I'm talking like that. I'm talking about Bernie Sanders or something. Let me tell you things. Let me tell you things. <laughs> the, I don't know why I'm talking like that, but as DIY Solar Energy just mentioned, uh, if I don't respond to you in this chat, I do go back and I look over all this. So whatever you say, we'll get read. I will consider it may be even something relevant. I'll respond in another video. Man, I got. Super Chats galore going on here. Let's see what we have here. Tyler Tepe, I see you commented, but James Wax, Wasco? James Wasco. Wish there was a solid information on correctly sizing a rim to a tire. Yes, that, you know, that's... There are sites out there that'll tell you things, but it seems like it kind of varies. It's even site to site. I totally agree on sizing a proper tire to a rim because even myself i ran some tires on rims that i know i bought tire bridger i bought this bridger wtb bridger set and i think they're on 19 millimeter rims and these big three inch tires just bulbed out look pretty cool but yeah i totally agree thank you for the 25 dollars super chat get you Let's see if I can't ring it fast. Can't do a bell that fast. It's got to resonate. But thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And Simrig PC 27B. What did you say here? Hyper, bring back the hydroform. Absolutely, I agree. Think we should all. Everybody type that. Bring back the hyperform. Hyper hydro. Well, don't everybody. 140 current viewers right now. <laughs> don't want to get flooded with those. Maybe send that email to Hyper. Bring back the hyperform. Thank you, Antonio Rodriguez. I appreciate it. Hello from Ohio. Mark Blackburn. 
Great last name, Mark, because there is a new line of products at Walmart. I think it's Blackburn, I think is their name. They're supposed to be sending me a pump. You know, I've got all these pumps, can't see them. Sitting outside, been in some videos, doing a pump roundup. They're sending some to include in my pump roundup video. And boy, is it going to be... I don't know how the whole video is going to turn out, but I can tell you that $139 Trek pump, I got some things to say about that pump. So... So it should be interesting to at least see me rant, because I get on something. I expect products to be, be good, especially when you start paying money for them. But thank you, and I think it's Blackburn is their brand, so cool name. Hey Kev, my friend in the Keys went to a local bike shop and made a custom bike. Well first, if they're in the Keys, they're probably loaded. Because that is an amazing looking place. I just watched an RV channel go there, and I so want to go to the RV park that they were at and ride. They had these, this tour where you could go look at houses, but people were riding bikes on it. And I thought, man, I could go down there and film all this stuff and ride on a bike and have fun and meet people and get rich and buy that $2.1 million house that I saw. I have 100 times now emailed. you emailed Hyper 100 times now. Maybe. Is that what you're talking about? I hope that's what you're talking about. But it's a quick glance here, just trying to get a look. Definitely bring back the Hydroform. Yes, lots and lots of that. I have a Blackburn tire on my old Trek 850. So maybe that is a brand. And by the way, it's, I don't know if they bought the brand, but it's Bell. Uh, the bike, or the, you know, they make helmets and they make pumps and stuff like that. But they have this Blackburn brand. So we'll see. We'll see how it is. Some of the stuff looked kind of cool. So we will see, especially some of those pumps. You know, sometimes cheap pump might be better than an expensive pump we'll see in the upcoming pump roundup video which will probably be in april sometime in later man I'll probably do that on april fool's day pump thing canada still have the hyper hydroform they call it the viking trail that is actually roughly the same thing as our explorer fs full suspension explorer but you guys got the benefit what was your benefit I think you kept the aluminum the aluminum rear triangle where we got a steel rear triangle for some reason. And maybe you got no, I think you got the same drivetrain. So we have roughly the same thing, just not as good for some reason. We got well I know why. Uh, the way that retailers choose and pick what there is gonna be on their bike, not necessarily the bike manufacturer when it comes to big box stores. Potter Sun. Yes, I've seen the Schwinn Ascension go back and after this is over and watch the beginning of this video. And I see that $25 Super Chat still hanging up there from our buddy James Wasco. Hope I'm saying your name properly about the sizing of a rim. And by the way, very cool icon that you have there. <laughs> Mr. DMagic88, did you find an RV yet? Blackburn, I, I'll get to that. Michael Pitts, Blackburn used to be a brand. They are still a brand, as I just mentioned probably before you tuned in. We will see. Do you ever take any of your bikes off? Sweet jump. I don't do jumps. I've reached, you know, you get to that 30-year-old point and beyond, and you just start thinking, I think about 25. Start thinking about the things that you do and the repercussions if they don't go the way you intend. And I've crashed, went for a long time without crashing, but I've crashed now a lot of times when I shouldn't so you know things just creep up on you so I'm not gonna do that but Mr. D Magic 88 another super chat appreciate you and again another ring of the bell for our buddy up here James Wasco and for you again Mr. D Magic give you multiple rings here you've done multiple super chats really do appreciate these so much I have not found an RV yet I, in the last Super Chat, I think I mentioned I had one that I was going to make a deposit on. It was a cheap one. It was old, 20, 20, 21 years old. But I didn't like the dealer, the way they responded to me. I guess my money wasn't enough because, you know, they're dealing. I get You're dealing with quarter million dollar RVs and somebody wants to buy a $16,000 thing. What are you going to, you're not going to care. So didn't get any respect. So not yet maybe one day I'm hoping I can get sponsored by some company there are a lot of you there are a lot of YouTube channels that are smaller than this one and don't have near the audience engagement of this one that gets sponsored with RVs so maybe if you're an RV company hit me up I could definitely do something 
for you and in an honest way. I'm not someone that's just going to shill out. I think the viewers here know that. I'll tell you what I think, even if it's not good, it's better to be honest than make up stuff. So that ends up not helping anyone out. Brad Donnelly, keeping an eye out for the wheel set you put on the project. Yeah, yeah, those have been sold out for a while. I've got I've got the last 29er wheel set from the same company here, and I've been trying not to put it on something, but as I showed in a live chat, a couple of live chats ago, I have that Bond Traeger. I think I put them up above me in the loft. I have Bond Traeger wheel sets, $175, 29er wheel set, Bond Traeger Connection Trail. Pretty light. Use Schrader valves, though but pretty light so there are options just not that good of an option because that was a good option so I hope that answered your question Mr. D Magic 88 very very well appreciated and James Wasco very well appreciated commenters and viewers and all subscribers here on Kev Central and also if you haven't already give the ring finger Give this video a thumbs up. That helps the channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm. That's the official shake of the YouTube algorithm. LS Swap, an old Winnebago. It was a Winnebago that I was looking at. A 2002, I think it was, Winnebago that I was looking at. What is your experience with AliExpress? <laughs> Not that positive. I am, I'm not anti AliExpress, but A, I'm American enough that I don't like to wait. So if I have to pay five more dollars, but I can get it in two days, I will usually take that over saving five dollars. Plus things like the IXF crankset, not any cheaper. They have them. Sometimes they have, I did buy one that, well, I bought quite a few things off AliExpress, but they had this silver one that I couldn't find. I was going to use on the original comp project comp because it would look so good that silver down on that low silver but it took so long to get that by the time I got it I'd already used other stuff a black one which works well on the new comp the black but I've received I've not received stuff I have received different colors of things that I've ordered and of course you know you're ordering from China which is fine there's nothing wrong with that at least for me, I mean, all our parts come from there anyway, but or most of them. But you can't send it back. It's going to cost me more to send it back than it would be to just keep it and deal with. Or on um, the things I didn't get, I did get refunded, but I didn't like the process. It was kind of archaic. Seems like it was set up to make it difficult. Yes, to hats. What are we talking about here? Yes, to hats. I'm th merch. Are you talking merch? I'm working on that. That, maybe stickers. I see D Magic's super chat just fell off. James Wasco still hanging in there. Hopefully, you can find a good resource. If I do find one for rim sizing, I will definitely share it in maybe the next super chat or something like that or in another video. You also ask, what about a bike build your channel? Then raffle it off for ten dollar tickets. I am in Alabama. Raffles are illegal in Alabama, at least to do online as far as I understand it, and I am a law and rule follower. That's why I'm not rich. I'm a law and rule follower. I I'm, I try to follow the state and straight and narrow. As I mentioned earlier, I don't even drink caffeine. I am a, I mean, I drink bottled water. I'm not paid. I drink Evian. I'm like really particular about things, and I'm the same way with rules. As a matter of fact, one of my college professors once told me, you are, the, I believe, I believe he said consummate. You are the consummate rule follower. And I am, but that means that if there is a hole in one of your rules, I will exploit it and point it out to you. So that was kind of like leading up to, I am a rule follower. So I will not break the law to make money. Again, that's why I'm, why I'm not rich. And why I'm dealing with an old roof that leaks and a basement that floods. Capitalist Pig. I see that name. Everyone mash that like button for Kev. Well, thank you, Capitalist Pig. Thank you so much. Steve Miller, Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Steven Smith, excuse me. Roll Tide, Steven Miller. It's a band or a performer. 
RCR fan. And I knew DIY, I knew that was coming. I knew the second that I saw Roll Tide, I knew, I thought, DIY Solar Energy will not be able to not respond to that. Not only that, but he did it in all caps. It's so we are totally from Alabama. You know, there's a thing, we need to do that in another super chat or another live. We need to talk about Alabama etiquette. The things that you don't do and when you know. Like, that's the thing, in Alabama with Alabama people, most Alabama people, especially the more Southern and redneck you get, there, there are lines and there are definitive markers for those lines. Like I'm about to, I M M A bout B O U T T A T A. If those three words are, are in succession followed by something they're about to do, take that serious. That's your last warning. That's things like that. We need to do, do a video about that or, uh, or a live section session on live about that a section all right let me get your car clunker looks like some people are talking here i really like seeing that i love seeing people interact on the channel that's what we build here this community talked about it before and that kev central ohana thing i don't think i'm going to go with that name looking at the chat some people liked it but it looked like there were a lot that didn't xr pros someone said we should be the Kev Central XR Pros. I'm thinking about making that just for us live streamers. Maybe a sticker or something just for the live streamers or a shirt that's the Kev Central XR Pros. And that could be just our little ultra tight community that we have here that do, they're loyal enough to do live streams because I see a lot of the names that I see that comment on every single video and are the first commenters. Like right there, David Montreal, XR Pros. I think he may have even came up with that name. Maybe we should be the Montreal XR Pros. But thank you. Yeah, an entire video dedicated to Alabama slang. That, well, we could. Myself and DIY Solar Energy. By the way, we are talking about branching off and making a new channel that deals with where we rant about stuff like we both have apple rants galore rants are galore about apple so maybe we should do that and it would be a live thing where we're both just on headsets and conversing back and forth about stuff maybe we should do that and do put that on that channel thing about southern etiquette and i see zoom zoom 870 again second super chat from zoom that i'm aware of from Zoom Zoom 870 again. I'll look back at everybody. If you did a super chat and I missed you, I hope not. I pray not. Alternatives for someone wanting to buy a boundary or a TAF. Well, first, thank you for the super chat. Ring of the bike bell ring. Thank you so much for that. Uh, yeah, you know, there's the aluminum comp. There's the Schwinn Ascension that people have mentioned. That is at Target, but it's $100 more. So that the TAF, there's not really anything in it. It's kind of creeping into that boundary or that axum. Uh, just not as good. I don't know. I don't know about the TAF. I never liked that freaky, freaky angle on that top tube. It just made me feel in a 20, 17 inch frame or 19 inch frames. I sit up too high anyway. And that just kind of messed with me. But the boundary is such a good bike. Maybe look at the Ascension if you can find one from Target. But like I said, they're more expensive. If I can get my hands on one, DIY Solar Energy, possibly. Going to try to get me one and get it up here to me. Of course, I'll repay him for it. Nah, I think he'll give it to me. Just kidding. He would if I asked. That's how nice of a guy he is. Same thing reversed. If he needed a bike, I would definitely do anything for him. I've been iPhone since first iPhone. I'm iPhone as well. But uh, been complaining a lot lately, so <laughs> we will see. But I can't go Android. I tried. I got an Android phone, and I mean, yeah, nothing wrong with Android. It's just the polish of an Apple. We already thought of the live calls. Yeah, we we talked about that. And that was actually his idea, the live calls. And I saw that super chat just fall off. So again, really appreciate. It. The super chat there you know any small frame bikes well yeah you can go down to a bike dealer <laughs> they have small frame bikes probably won't have any in stock right now but yeah you know big box wise they size by wheels so to get down to a small frame aside from that huffy scout that was a tiny frame the 26 inch wheels that's how big walmart sizes bikes so that's a little difficult but we'll see 
see what's happening. Stay tuned. Let's see what there is to offer there. You zoom and stream to YouTube. Okay, some comment there. Greatly, if the taff reminds me of a beluga whale. Yes, it does. Very good comparison. Beluga whale. Beluga whale. To do paid zoom collab sessions for bike builds and part swaps. Maybe. I don't know. You know, I mean, I know a lot about bikes, but I don't want anyone to pay me for something that I wouldn't know enough of. And give me just a second here. I need to take another drink, so I'm going to mute. But first, I'm going to use, I have these cool screens. Use this Be Right Back screen. Give me 10 seconds, and I will be right back. Audio is on. I'm coming back. Let me transition here. Live screen. Thank you. Hope I didn't lose anyone, but thank you. It is getting late, so I'm going to try to wrap this up. Let me look really quick here and see. Oh, super chat. Yes, super chat. I hope you didn't do that and then I went away. No, no. The super chat thing has gone away. Lakeland Wayne. Lakeland Wayne. 999. I really appreciate it. That ring. Mm. I'm going to have a problem with bells tonight. Ring of the bike bell. Ring for you. Always stop what I'm doing when you push out a new video. Thank you so much. New one came today. New one came today. I hope you have watched it already on... Yeah. My screen's backwards, so it messes me up to point. But on this thing, that v Roadster V2 from Ride One Up. Amazing. Amazing, amazing bike. Always stop what I'm doing, yes, and I will get that Kev Central mug. Awesome. Thank you so much. Which one are you going to get? Are you going to get this design? Or are you going to get that, uh, I'm trying to lean, so I'm kind of tilted here. My floor for a slight little waver right where I'm sitting. Or are you going to get the one for the e-bike? That'll be the next shirt that I wear on the next live stream. This cool e-bike with battery charging on it, which I thought was kind of funny for a mug. But thank you so much. Another... Another ring for you. Oh, Romania. Bucharest bike traffic. Awesome, Romania. Thank you so much. My father served a brief stint in Romania with the Air Force. I can tell tells about that. Things that were happening there, military. This was back before we went into Iraq after 9-11. You know, we like went to Afghanistan and then there was Iraq. Dad was there... I knew that that was about to happen before it even happened because of things that happened there with them. That's interesting. So maybe I should get that on. Until I don't even know if we can talk about some of it. But look really quick here. Oh, I see another super chat pop up. But thank you, Lakeland Wayne. And thank you if you buy a mug. I hope you enjoy it. Really hope you do. And the general consensus was on this shirt to leave the thing in the back here. So, I guess I will do that. Kev Central logo. Let's see what we have here. OTB, Old Time Biker again. Thank you, Old Time Biker. Three for your name. Thank you so much. Just dropped something. The KC Ride Day would be awesome. Big old custom big box freight train. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, you know it would be interesting to see if we went on a group ride with nothing but big box bikes. I would be curious how many of those would be new bikes that someone would run out to grab a bike to go on a bike ride. Kind of like if you're going to something and you try to dress up for it, so you run out and get the stuff, but you didn't have it before. I wonder, wonder how that would be and how many of us would make it to the end because at any given time, I go from being in great physical shape, riding a trail, can pump all the way through it, to... Um, sometimes. I have, I've ridden e-bikes before for a month entirely. And then went back out to the mountain bike trail, and I'm not kidding you. Like 25 or 30 yards into the first little hill, I say, I'm going to have to pull over. I'm huffing it. I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm going to have to pull over my Fitbit, which I lost, by the way. I have no idea what I've done with it, but my Fitbit buzzing like crazy. Oh, well, maybe I'm dying. 
So be interesting. But thank you so much for your super chat. And also to Lakeland, I think it was Lakeland Wayne. Yeah, Lakeland Wayne. Are you from Lakeland, Florida? By chance, Wayne. I would like to know that's where that name comes from. Click on, oh, come on down. I'm using a Micro Shift box as my mouse pad. Micro Shift cassette box. Sometimes it gets on the text there. So, I like your style, Harry Grimley. Spectrum still here. Thank you, Spectrum. Appreciate you. Antonio Rodriguez, Ben Chang, Ben Chang, mentioning again that Pacific Evolution. Call the Pacific Evolution. Let's wait to your 50s. Oh, fitness level. Fitness, WH Bonnie. I heard, I used to work with this guy. Uh, DIY Solar Energy also used to work with this guy. And I remember he came in, I've told this before, I'm sure. And he said, you know what the difference between, I changed the age because I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I was probably 22 at the time. And he said, do you know what the difference is between being 22 and say 52? Like, no, he said, when you wake up in the morning and you're sore somewhere, you know exactly what it was that you did the day before that made you sore when you're 22. When you're 52, you wake up, you just did nothing but sleep. Like, what did I do? How did I make my, how did I tear my shoulder? Sleeping, like, what did I do? By the way, I didn't tear my shoulder sleeping, but probably not getting far away. I don't know. We'll see. Memphis, Tennessee. Scott Holcomb. Love Memphis. Love Memphis. All right. Now, oh, somebody wait. Heading my way. How do you plan to transport your bikes in your RV, which is a huge, prob huge problem for RVers. Good luck finding your RV. Well, thank you. I hope in Central Florida represent Sal Picataggio. Thank you. I appreciate you being here, and being, I love Central Florida. I said South, didn't I? Central Florida. Central Florida represent UCF territory. My favorite football team in UCF kind of rivals. Favorite outside of, of course, being an Alabama fan because I'm from Alabama. you got to pick a side there, but it's another team that I'm very actively supporting as well. So, um, heading my way... I will probably transport my R my bikes once I get an RV inside the RV with me. I'm very particular about my stuff. Very particular. That's why my stuff looks. I mean, I can ride a bike and really get it trashy looking, but I will spend hours with Q-tips and things cleaning. Very protective of my stuff. So it'll probably be inside with me, even if it, I had to step over it on the floor. I don't care. Take care of my bikes. So that's how I would do it. And good luck finding your RV. Maybe at some point, I'm figuring with gas prices going up, maybe some of these people that rushed out to get an RV when COVID hit are going to be like, well, maybe we can't afford to go. Because my father mentioned, he said, well, if we would have already had an RV going to meet your sister, which is in Huntsville, about 60 miles from me. He said, you know, that would be an $80 trip going there and back in an RV. And, oh, yeah, that's not not far on a lot of gas lakeland minnesota aha no oh, well there is a lakeland so you're not your hair you're harry grimley is it grimley or grimley in memphis okay so woo pig suey michael pitts so you are an arkansas razorback arkansas razorback yeah so he there's the proper response for you roll time see dl solar energy but yeah, maybe you guys what didn't you get a new coach again no, your coach that you got last year actually did you better for half the season. Got to pick at you a little bit. So hopefully, I think you, I think you guys going to rebound. So you had some bad luck there, but, you know, that happens. Alabama had that as well. So, yeah, thank you to everyone for watching. Daniel J. Corica. Here is money. Thanks for the entertainment. <laughs> Thank you for the entertaining message and for the super chat. Bike bell ring, you get a ring. Two, three, four, five. Thank you so much. A ring of the bike bell ring for that super chat and for the humor. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you being part of the channel. As well as Downtime Adventures. All right, SEC is very well represented here. Yes, it is. Very well represented here. SEC, SEC, start me. Start on the chat. I'm a big football fan, like a hardcore college. College. Not that into pro, and I'm shifting again. This bench. I said I was going to wind this up definitely before two hours.
because we're going for a while here, but I do appreciate it. I'm having so much fun. It's hard to do. I think I get a more comfy chair. Maybe you get a lazy boy down here. I could just kick back and eventually you guys would probably see me just in the middle of mid conversation. Just pass out. It's like start drilling or something. That'd be pretty funny. Northeast Arkansas represent Zoom Zoom 870 again. That's your third super chat. Two rings of the bike, but that was a half ring. Well, two half rings count as a whole. I do know that much from college. University of North Alabama represent foreign languages degree from the University of North Alabama. For XR Pros merch out. I, you know, I think I am going to make a shirt or sticker or something for XR Kev Central XR Pros just for us super chatters. Or not super chatters. I keep saying that. Just for us live chatters. Pack 10. Okay, Uncle Bobby. Let me tell you, Mobile, Alabama, roll tide, 100%. <laughs> Solar energy, paying money. This is how adamant we are at football here in the South. So you guys that are not understanding what we're talking about with SEC represent and all this talk, it's, it's a Southern football thing. More support for this quite entertaining channel. Thank you, Grayleaf. Patron buys super chats i think you even bought a sticker from me on the uh on the last go around when i announced the stickers like before this live chat wow thank you so much to every single one of you so sec southern football integrated and ingrained in us and people and other people down here in football arguments and i'm not kidding and i'm trying not to laugh because it's horribly sad but I mean, think about that. You get in an argument over a football game and you're so passionate about it that that other person, because they're from the other team support, they just got to go. They got to go. And again, I don't support that. And I'm just going to quit talking about it because I'm laughing and I don't like laughing about horrible things. And clearly Scott Holcomb needs counseling with the war. Eagle. <laughs> Another roll tie here. No, I'm kidding, Scott. Uh, my family... Half of my family, Auburn graduates. So I support Auburn whenever they're not playing Alabama. Well, actually, that is a lie. I did not like Nose Picker, the coach that you just let go, that every time he was, and that's the only reason I didn't like him, because I kind of liked his play calling style. But every time he was on camera, he was picking his nose. As an athletic director, wouldn't you have went, look, you're going to have to work on this because you're representing our university. So quit picking your nose, man. Just get your finger out of there. Put caps on your fingers or gloves or something. Anyway, let me get down. And I'll tell you another thing that I'm going to start since it seems like we are all enjoying the random chat. Zoom Zoom 870. Another super chat. Front bumper mount grill cover for my bikes on my... Oh, that's a good idea. Plus, you can see them. As you're going, that's a really good idea. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for the super chat. Did I miss a twenty dollar one here? Oh, this is that was a great leaf. Okay, thank you so much for that's a good man. You guys, so awesome, so awesome. Went to UAB, University of Alabama, Birmingham. The what are the dragons? Dragons? Drag? Yeah, you guys are dragons, right? Because you lost the football team for like a year or two, and then the football team came back and instantly went to a playoff game. Or not a playoff game, a bowl game. Year they came back. Love UAB, big medical school. We really appreciate the Dragons. Yeah. Really appreciate everything that any medical school, student, nurse, doctor, anything. Of course, right now you guys have gotten us through and hopefully we're getting the corner turned, even if we have little ups and downs. Maybe get back to some normal where I can get back out because I'm kind of a germaphobe. So plus I have to protect that. School bus conversion instead of an RV. Harkin, that won't happen. Can't take those to many RV parks. They won't let that or converted trailers, things like that. Some of them even get something about blasphemy. What are we talking about here? Football team something? I'm sure. But uh, I've been thinking about an idea. Andrew Singleton, I like the Stealth Electric bike you reviewed today. Yeah, it's right behind me. Right there. Right there. Uh, it's a very awesome bike. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the long, longer term as well, especially on that battery range. Because like I said, I got, I said almost 15 miles, but it was actually, I think, 13.9. But I was on some big hills and in max assist 
regular, I was doing a loop, a 3.3 mile loop, and I did it, I think, four times or whatever that math equates up to. And on the last time, it died before I got back to where I started and I had to pedal it as a regular bike. So, you know, that's, I think you could get 20 if you were on any normal terrain. And the city I was in, downtown Sheffield, there are stop signs at every other intersection. Stop signs, red lights. So that stealth is a beauty, definitely, definitely a beauty. Swim, Millsap 700C with drop bars. Franklin Wayne, is that the one? Somebody mentioned one with the fenders. Is that that one? Mr. D Magic 88, another super chat. I'll give you for 10 there. Do you have a P.O. box that we can send stuff to? I do have a P.O. box. It's P.O. Box 3484, Florence, Alabama, 35630. I'll put it in the description of this video, but it's on if you go to my channel and you go to About. It's in there, but I will tell you, you might want to wait because I haven't been to my P.O. Box in probably five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten. Well, no, it's probably been almost a year since I've been to my P.O. Box. Since COVID broke out, I wasn't going in there, and this thing, wait, right there that Hemiway I almost got that out at 3 a.m. right before we started getting all this rain because I was gonna ride up and sit out front for 20 minutes and I figured if nobody came in at 3 a.m. 20 minutes then I could go in and check my P.O. box so I need to do that now that it's quit raining it's still wet outside but I'll do that in the next couple of days and then Yes, people could technically send me stuff, and I would review it, but fair warning, I have had people send me things to review. I've got, and I'll talk about these in another light chat, I'll bring out the tub. It's maybe one of the tubs that this stuff's sitting on. I have some vitamin things, booster things that somebody sent me, and they just they asked me if they could send me something. They mailed it to me, didn't have any information in it, and I couldn't find the email. I have no idea who they were. I told them I don't take supplements. I try to eat right. So I don't take them, but I was going to let somebody at the bike shop maybe take them and see if they liked it. I have a... Somebody sent this metal. I think it's supposed to be a chain guide of some sort. Again, no contact information, no anything. And it was maybe a month or two after I had talked with them. I have no way of getting in touch with these people. So if anyone does send me anything to review or anything in general, please include your contact information so that I know who it's from because I don't want to take anything or get anything and not give anybody some wording that they sent or and I'll show maybe those vitamins and maybe somebody a supplement I say vitamins but a supplement maybe somebody can comment hey I know who that is and maybe the chain got thing and a few other things that I don't know who it's from all right let's get my final things here I want to re-mention my bike fell off but first another ring for is that gray leaf and another ring for miss give you some half rings there mr d magic 88 i stammer every time right there with the mr d but mr d magic and i i asked you last time was that a disney thing i, I didn't see i didn't think i ever saw a response the name or is that magic like the orlando magic or something like that be curious. I like to know what names come from. Yes, thank you, DIY Solar Energy. Give this channel a thumbs up and this video if you this channel. Give this live stream a thumbs up if you're here. It helps out the channel. Swin Axum Video, Martin Sierra. That will come out probably within the next week to week and a half. Got to get past the five bikes five days, which may stretch into seven days. We'll see. But uh, right after that, I plan to get that out on the trail as soon as it's not raining. Uncle Bobby, how is the bike show, the Kev Central Bike Show? I will be doing as soon as I finish the five bikes in five days. I will be doing my unboxing, my play button. You're supposed to do that. It's like a thing. Hashtag it and all that. And in that video, I will announce we are starting the Kev Central Bike Show. And I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and well, probably more bike images that i will be including and we'll just do a slideshow with some music and let it play and i was going to number them so people could comment with the number that that's my bike but there's so many i don't know if i'm going to be able to do that we'll see but that's coming right after five bikes in five days and then the axle 
Zoom again. Zoom Zoom 870. Man, I really appreciate it. Don't want you to spend all your money on live chess, but I really do appreciate it. Yeah, spend it all. I just kidding. Class B R V for the win. Good night. My people need me. I'm sure they do. And thank you so much for being here. We're all better for having you. Now, I really appreciate it. Appreciate the super chats. Give a couple of rings of that bike bell ring. Stammering on that word, too. It's late. I've had three hours sleep. As I mentioned early into this, my basement flooded and my roof leaked. So I've been dealing with water. Basement's still flooded. Matter of fact, Alexa, turn on the water pump. Let her do that for a little bit. Okay. Get down to the final things here. I'm going to do in the next video. So start thinking about this. A section. And this was this video. Peter Dedzik. Sorry, I don't know how to say your last name. Dedzik. That is... Is that Ukrainian? How do you like the oval chain ring? I like it. I like it. There are some trade-offs, some up and downs, and I'll talk about those, and I'm going to do another video on that as soon as I put it on the 2020 Axum DP. 2021 Axum DP. Okay, so let's wrap this up because I know people are getting tired. It's getting late. I'm getting tired and getting almost two hours. I think we can wrap this up. But I want to do a thing. I want you to think about this. We had some non-bite conversations. It seemed pretty fun. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. So I'm going to do a segment in the next live chat, which again, probably be Monday evening. I'm going to do a random tale, and I'm going to give you three topics that you can choose. And people can vote on them, and I will discuss one of these topics. An example, say if I went, which topic do you want to hear? Do you want to hear about the time that I inadvertently joined a separatist party in another country? That happened. True story. Do you want to hear about it? A convenience store tale when myself and DIY Solar Energy worked at a convenience store. We have some crazy tales. Worked the midnight shift, so some crazy tales there. Or insert some other thing. Right? So you'll get to choose between one of those, and then I'll tell the story. Trust me, some of them are pretty entertaining. They're pretty entertaining, especially these separate... Oh, here, I've got another one. At the time, I got fired for calling the owner of the company an idiot in front of everyone and just doing it i didn't even mean it mean i'm just a blunt person so i was responding to something stupid that they said and that went downhill as you would expect pretty quickly and it was a very wealthy guy so give you choice between things all right quick chat and then we'll wrap this up keep up the videos johnny merritt thank you so much i will i plan on keeping up the videos see joshik 93 i'm great no work tomorrow so you could stay up and watch this well after this you can watch the new video on mm, that bike the stealth roadster v2 beauty beauty of a bike that is a nice nice little bike and i see new york luis convenience store you're voting for the convenience store story okay midnight at a convenience store sounds like fun man it's crazy crazy times and we were super young so you know you get like super young convenience store midnight it can only go like clerks you know something like that sal Tictagio, captain america sits backwards on chair so you accidentally joined a separatist movement campaign for him. campaign for the separatist movement but one that i quasi I'm still friends with a lot of those people. There's a point there. There is a point. But it's just funny how you can go from being in a foreign country to talking to people and then how that turns into other things. Really quick, like, like really amazing other things. Okay, going to run through this really quick here. Stephen Smith, okay, on the NCAA tournament. I'm not a huge basketball person. I don't know if you're talking to someone else, but I'm... Not a huge. Once it gets to the final four, yeah, I watch. But if you make XR Pros merch, you got to send me some. David Montreal. You know, I, I'll send you a sticker if I make some. Just because I think you were the one that suggested that name. So you deserve something. Hey, Big Truck, Big RV. Man, I appreciate you being here. You know, he's got an RV channel. He's got like 500,000 subscribers. Makes me look like a pipsqueak. 
here with his RV channel. I've watched a lot of your videos. A lot of stuff. You do a lot of uh, the travel trailers and stuff like that. Yeah, some good stuff. And he's got a couple of high-end bikes, too. Big truck, big RV. Thank you for tuning in. Right at the end, I'm wrapping this up. But I want to say thank you. And then we are host. I know I'm slaughtering your name. And I apologize. Where is it? North Bergen, New Jersey. I got your sticker two days ago in the mail. You know, my toolbox now with my park tool and GoPro. Hey, awesome. Thank you. That's why the name looks familiar. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you like the sticker. UV and water resistant should hold around for quite a while. I've had one on my car, well, on the bike rack for quite some time. Still looks new. Yeah, Friday off, Uncle Bobby, so you could stay up later. Waiting for the more people in the convenience store. Uncle Bobby, thanks. 12 o'clock, working. What time is it for me? It's 9.54 here. So, I don't know what you think. Go six more minutes. Six more, get it to 10 o'clock, and then we'll sign this off. And the store, yes, DIY Solar Energy, the store was mine. Do you remember the time that you were holding that can of hairspray and a lighter, and I was inside screaming, and we thought you were going to blow yourself up? That's one oh, teaser. There's so, <laughs> yeah. there's so many stories that we can talk about at the convenience store. There stores. are so, so many. Here's a, here's a teaser for you. There was a guy, Jamie. Jamie would do anything. And I don't know what happened to him. He was such an awesome guy. But one day we were in a conversation. Now this is 3 a.m., sometime between midnight and 3 a.m. And we were such a close-knit group that we would hang out with each other at the store even when we weren't working. So we were always there. And Jamie, one day we had this conversation about how long it would take you to pass out if you only breathed oxygen inside of a bag. So Jamie, well, I'm going to find out. He puts a garbage bag over his head. I don't know if he taped it or tied it into a knot or whatever. And he's just sitting there in a chair beside me. Customers are coming in. I'm ringing them up. And a lot of them are kind of looking over. <laughs> People would ask, what's, what's with that? And I'm like, oh, we're just trying to see how long before he'd pass out. And, the, oh, okay. And they would walk out. And, and every now and then, I'm, hey, man, how you doing? I'm getting a little dizzy. <laughs> okay, well, if you fall over, I'll take the bag off. And he kind of got wobbly so we took the bag off but that's just an example of the type things and there are all kinds of stories it, it gets so much yeah worse. that's there's, the the, the mild stories you don't even want to think about absolutely that is the mild mild version of the stories quebec wait a minute i saw somebody mention quebec oh is it the quebec guys party quebecois we oui. party quebecois is that me Yep, the, you got it, David Montreal. Are you, you say David Montreal, so you obviously, I guess, are from Montreal. That's not your last name. Montreal. That's not your last name. Awesome. How about e-scooter reviews? Well, technically, wait, I'm going to scoot this way. Nope, wrong way. Yeah, no, that's the right way. Technically, that thing is kind of an e-scooter. Now, I'll talk about that in the review, which I have to film. That's why I'm so worried about five bikes in five days. That's the fifth bike. And I'm worried about fitting this in because we've had so much rain. But that's basically more scooter electric moped than it is actual bike. Because, you know, those Super 70s. I'm spitting all over the place here. Those Super 73s, people that own those, as awesome as they are, say that they're not fun to pedal as a bike. Well, the hit me with not it's just not intuitive pedaling i'll talk about that in the video but that's ease amish sailor that is kind of coming up so stay tuned for that and yes they've montreal the separatists uh let's see indiana shout out terrence right new jersey pork roll what that's about when santis revisited you know that santis was not did i say santis Santis was not my bike. That was someone else's bike. And I was able to review it. So that wasn't mine. And I no longer have it or have access to it. Bought a Rad Runner. I hear those are awesome bikes. Actually, I did look at one at a local bike shop. Somebody brought in. I think they were getting a tire put on or something. Pretty impressive. Good stuff. 
It's 854 here, Grayley. So you are in Cal 10. Yeah, you're in California or Oregon or Washington or. Mountain time. Is that mountain time? No, mountain time is one behind us. Mountain time. Yeah, 854. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Thank you for correcting me. DIY Solar Energy fellow convenience store guy. Former. Former fellow. Thank goodness we're beyond that, right? Because that was not good pay. That was not good. Do you remember the raises that they used to give? The nickel raises and wanted you to be proud of it. They would give you a nickel raise. You're like, oh, great. So I get an extra $5 per paycheck. Thank you so much. Well, you could buy a Big Mac with that. Like it was we're supposed to bend over backwards and give them homage or something. I don't know. But uh, Johnny Merritt. Nice 12 o'clock work. You saying you got to work at 12 o'clock or talking about Uncle Bobby? I'm starting to remember names with the comment. That's pretty good. Kind of impressed myself on that. Memory's not totally gone. Hello from Miami, Florida. Armando Pay. I love Miami. So welcome and thank you for being here. Although, I'm about to wrap this up in just about a minute or two. Utah, Grayleaf. Okay. <laughs> this may take, I told you I had a favorite football team. And some of you have mentioned or seen in my original bike rack video the shirt of my team, my BYU Cougars. So are you Grayleaf? Are you a Cougar or a Ute? This is important. Uh, tell me which one you are. So want to know. And then fellow Floridians, a lot of Floridians here. Appreciate you guys being here. 85 degrees in Miami. It was almost 80 degrees here yesterday. It is freezing in here right now. It, I mean, very cold. I was even considering putting this back on because it is, I think, 46 degrees out here. It was 46 or 48 at 5 o'clock here. And at the same time the day before, it was literally 75, almost 80. So kind of crazy. What do we got? Ben Chang. Hello to you. And I'll read all these comments afterwards. I'm just going to go through names. 12 BW Falcon. Sorry I'm late. How's the RV search going? Well, hello to you. I'm sorry you're coming in right at the end. I'm about to wrap this up. Been doing it for two hours. But I, this week, not good. I haven't found anything this week. Matter of fact, I kind of given up. It's been raining anyway, raining. But I kind of thought, well, I'm just going to wait it out till the inflated gas prices cause some people to want to get out of theirs and then see what I can do and hopefully get a sponsor. I'm really trying to get that RV sponsor. Other channels have gotten them. And I think... Kev Central is a good, good source for an RV company to provide a Class A RV for me to put and brand for them and go around and spread their name while also having fun on bikes and making great videos and maybe even riding with some fellow Kev Central viewers. Aiden Timms, what should I do? I crashed and now my bike is squeaky. Well, take it to a bike shop. If you don't know how to check to find out what that squeak is. Now, I don't know what you mean by squeaky. Are you talking brake squeak? Are you talking wheel squeak? Or handlebar moving squeak? By the way, that Hemi way. You know, I don't, I don't know if you know, but stems, the handlebar stem, where you tighten this down sideways to keep the bars from moving, normally it's six newton meters on most stems. I tightened that down to six newton meter with a torque wrench. Didn't have a rating on the side. And they have a beautiful manual that's pearl essence gloss. It is amazing looking. Take this, this up. And I started riding and I noticed that it was moving. So I tightened it down more. I mean, it wasn't, I couldn't easily move it, but after a ride, it's a lot of torque. So it would, I'd ride a little bit and I'd look and it would just be slightly off. So I would bend it back, and it was pretty stout, but it would move. And I came back in here, and I looked in the manual. 40 newton meters. Big difference. 6 to 40, so it takes a lot of torque. Give you an idea how beefy that thing is, how much of an e-moped it is versus just a regular bike. So anyway, thank you for being here, 12 BW Falcon. Going to do another one Monday evening, so hopefully you can catch that, because I'm going to wrap this one up. I see Spanish Fort Alabama. DIY Solar Energy, is that not close to you? 
got to be. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Just literally maybe 20 minutes away. Yeah, very close to you. And no, I've never been there. Blakely State Park, is that the mountain bike trail you've been telling me about that I need to go visit down near USA? DIY Solar Energy? Is that the one you've been talking about? Blakely State Park? He's been telling me to go check out this mountain bike trail that they're supposed to have down there, but I've been saying, you don't have mountains. We have, not mountains, but we have big hills, but kind of flatter down there. But he says there's something down there that's pretty good. So at some point, I see somebody got a message retracted, and it's Aiden Timms. He has been pretty active on here, so I hope either it was an accident or just a typo or a link or something. So yeah, that wasn't me. Okay, well, he must have typed something wrong and deleted. Great, great. Just want to make sure that no one is getting messed up here. Johnny Merritt, not that nice out. So much drink. Oh, no, drinking. Oh, no. But do whatever makes you happy. Free country, right? Hope you have fun in life. That's the important thing. Not hurting anybody. Have fun. Harry Grimley, funny, but it was warming in Minnesota today. I'm scared we're going to have a blazingly hot summer, and I am not. I love getting up and riding when it's 20-something, well, 20 something's pretty cold, but in the 30s in the mornings are my favorite rides in the world. I complain more than anybody in the world. Every year in the summer, I tell my dad the same thing. Tell him that our ancestors were idiots because I don't care what was going on in their life, what they were coming from. The first humid summer in Alabama, they should have turned around and went right back. It is that miserable here when you get late July, August, and so on. So, I'm scared we're going to have a warm summer for all of us. See an RV something there. Go Utes! No, Grayleaf! No! Why would you do that? You went to the University of Utah? Well, that's okay. You can still be a Cougar. Still be a Cougar. <laughs> I like the Utes, too. Good team. Good team. Pac-12 now. Impressive. BYU never make it to the Pac-12, especially at the rate they're going. Johnny May had a great season last this past season, but of course, cupcakes playing a bunch of high schools, anybody you can schedule. And then get beat by the one team that you should have dominated, but that was your only legitimacy claiming team. I did, oh, Coastal Carolina, whom I was a fan of until that game. They're kind of jerks in that game, I thought. But whatever. Wasn't it a Pacific Evolution, Scott Evans? Yes, Scott Evans, and you get a ring of the bike bell ring. Two, three, four, five. Thank you. It was the Pacific Evolution. You were looking back in the comments. The Pacific Evolution that I destroyed and then caught flack about, even though it was a pile of crap, worthless bike that was broken. Yes. Caught crap about it. Jeez, you sound like my neighbor. Oh, is he a cougar? Is he a cougar? Gray leaf. Yes, let's see. Humidity is why Alabamians are so tough. Well, I'm not tough. I just complain about it. I'm a whiner when it comes to heat. I do not like it. I do not like climbing large hills on a bike without a good granny gear. Joey Pruitt. I know a lot of Pruitts. I think I'm related to some. You have a really cool voice. Where are you from? I'm from Alabama. Same place I've been talking about here. From Alabama. Reminds me of a more distinguished Fix-It Felix. I don't watch that channel, but I'm aware of the name. But thank you, I guess. I get that. I get King of the Hill, Hank. And in my first live chat, somebody mentioned that they wanted me to say propane. And I said Family God. And I know I watched both of those. And I was so mad after I was going back to Why did I say that? It's King of the Hill, Hank Hill, propane. I know that. I get that a lot, and I get Jack in the Box. I get that a lot as well. I'd like to have the Jack in the Box gig. That dude ever retires. All right, so let's wrap this up. Any reviews on Highland bikes? No, those are Amazon bikes. I know what you're talking about, Armando Pay. And oh, yes, he is. He's a Cougar fan. Well, I like your neighbor, Grayleaf. So, total Cougar fan. Well, like you know, you should tell him about Kev Central. So, you can join in the Cougar camaraderie. Spent some time out there. Didn't go to BYU. I thought about getting my master's from BYU, but I can't afford it right now, the master's. So, especially trying to buy an RV. Got to have priorities in life. So, 
Thanks for all you do. Of 1994 GT with the 1990s Olivia on it. The IXF works. IXFs are great crank sets. Very underrated. I think, I'm not bragging, but I think we made them popular here at Kev Central. I know they existed before, but I think they took off after we all started using them. Why are rear hub e-bike conversion kits as expensive as whole e-bikes? I don't know, but that's why I don't do conversion kits, because it's about the price of buying a bike that's already done. So, why? I tell you what. Yeah, that's uh, David Montreal, also a King of the Hill fan. Thoughts on the Giant Fathom 29? Don't know much about Giants, just because, as I mentioned earlier, I don't have a dealer near me for the Giant. Uh, it's hour, hour and a half away, and I'm not going to pay for a local bike shop pricing when it would be inconvenient for me to go and get it serviced. That's why if I do local bike shop bikes, I do Trek. I have a great local Trek deal. And they also work on big box bikes. Spectrum, my buddy, my pal, my patron. Cold weather, you can always, I don't know him personally. I feel like I do now. We all kind of know each other a little better, especially with these live streams. Cold weather, you can always add layers of heat. You can, all you can do is chug water. That is so true. I always say the reason I like cold weather better is because as you just mentioned, and thank you for the super chat, bike bell rings for you. The, you can always add a lot more clothes. You can only legally take off so much. You know, you can add as much as you want. You can walk around where you couldn't move your arms. Like Ralph, who was it? Ralphie's little brother, Randy, like Randy in A Christmas Story. But if you start shedding clothes, you can only shed so much before things get bad. And then you just have to chug water and sweat to death. And here, I am not kidding, in Alabama, if you haven't experienced an Alabama summer, it is miserable. I can walk to my mailbox, 20 feet out to my mailbox, out of an air-conditioned house, walk back in, and my shirt is damp. Um, it's, it hits you. It's like walking into a sauna. You ever walked into a sauna and it's just that takes your breath. <gasps> it's so hot in here. That's the way it is walking outside in Alabama. So miserable. Miserable. Don't know why. Well, I know why. Family. I respect family. My family's around here. That's why. I always wondered what hills are like. Okay, so let's wrap this up. See some people saying good night. And I see we're down to 109 viewers, so I think this is a good time too. And I'm 10 minutes, 10 10. Good time to wrap this up. Two hours and 18 minutes. I appreciate everything in Spectrum. Again, thank you. And Zoom Zoom, capping me out here with the super chat. $2 for you. Oh, Bell's not healthy. Maybe because I've been sitting it down. Two months, no. Aluminum comps, tafts, boundaries, or axioms near me. Stay tuned for May for the axiom. They told me in May they were going to hit stores. So maybe we'll hit them. And you can get them. I don't know about the other box. We'll see. More Miami. Indiana. All right. Good night. Yeah, good night, not 20. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. And don't forget, you can scroll back through this or you can look at the description in the most recent video which if you haven't seen it i released it today and it's on this bike this burgundy that's an e-bike get out of the way here that is an e-bike a e-bike with a concealed battery that down tube has a battery in it and oddly it's not it's 350 watts but it it moves pretty decently 22 miles per hour effortless and also I have stickers. You can look in the description of this most recent video, so watch that video. And I have stickers. There's a link in the YouTube channel. If you've been wanting Kev Central stickers, I always get asked. I will buy them. Well, I have them there. The pricing is because I have fees and I want to make a few bucks on them. But I also have this shirt. I've got a merch shop. He, uh, DIY Solar Energy just put this on the screen. I have a merch shop now. You can buy shirts. If you get this one, you may want to upsize one size. This is a large and any smaller, and it would be too tight for me, but check it out. I don't know if I thought about ditching this, but I've got Kev Central logo on the back. The reason I thought about ditching that, sometimes those logos on the back, it's, you know, you never know, shirt to shirt, if they're going to be perfectly centered. I think this one's even a little off, but looks good to me. But people seem to like it in chat today, so I'm going to do... I'm going to keep that. And also, I added this sticker. I just added this. Which way here? Wait, which way am I? Yeah. 
I just added this. I got them in today right before this chat. This is holographic. It is the new logo here, the mountain bike full suspension logo. And I mean, there's some detail in here. You can't see it with this little webcam, but there are actually brake cables. Well, you can't see them on there, but you can see them here. Actually, yeah, you can. See a little brake cable, see rotors. There's some detail in here. Cool, cool sticker. Oop, just added it. So you can check that out if you want anything like that. So we built a community, now we're building a brand, and we're building more camaraderie with these live chats. I'm having so much fun. The next one, 7.30ish Monday night. So stay tuned for that. I know it's a little quick turnaround, but I think I'm going to start doing them on Monday night. I really appreciate you guys for being part, especially the names I'm seeing. I'm seeing names in here greatly. Boeing 747 is shiny. Captain's Cock, that's a new one. Back in the holographic sticker. You like that hologram sticker? Is that what you're saying? There, Armando, Armando, Pay, David Montreal. See a high five right there, buddy. Gray Leaf, Dylan Dean, Kevin is the man. Appreciate you being here. I'm seeing a lot of the names. New York, Luis. A lot of names that I've seen this entire chat. You don't know how much. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you. I'm going to end it here. I have an end button. now. I don't even have to do that thing because I'm not on the phone. So that's pretty awesome. But thank you. Oh, wait. I even have this. I've got... Yeah. I should have done that 10 minutes ago, right? Should have done that ending soon thing. But anyway, I want to end it here. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here and for commenting. Be sure to tune in for the next one. He's got it there on the screen. And before we wrap this up, Give Mr. DIY Solar Energy a big round of applause. If you've got emojis, give him that clap emoji. Give him something. Well, give him the clap. I don't know. Give him something. But Sorry, I'm cracking myself up here. But, what? Uh, and he also want to head over to his channel. You should be able to click on his name after this is over in the chat. Head over to his channel. He did a teardown of the Onway e-bike battery. Pretty interesting. And we're going to be doing some stuff, collaborating back and forth with the Rattan battery. And I'm even thinking, I've been thinking, Southern thinking, I've been a thinking about taking an e-bike down there that has a standard battery that's similar to one that he has that, has, that he'll upgrade the battery on and maybe ride them side by side. And see, after we're both vaccinated, once we're both vaccinated, I'm thinking about going down and doing that so maybe a lot more collaboration here and we're thinking about doing a separate channel our rant channel where we both are in in on that 50 50. so yeah i see a lot of people thank you guys so much see you're so awesome man this is the best group of people on youtube without question thank you so much to each and every one of you be sure to check out his channel thank you i'm gonna end it now with this fancy offline screen i think you can still hear me yeah Gonna go with a fancy offline screen. Thank you guys. I'll see you Monday. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm coming back. Ah, there I am. Thank you. I will see you Monday night at 7:30. More videos. Five bikes. Five days. Another video dropping tomorrow. Tune in for that. I'm still debating which one I want to release, but I think I've got it. In my head. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go to the offline 